Hello everyone and welcome back to our King of the Castle live stream Woo! part two. I have overthrown Maddie. We've already got people oh, jumping geez. in. We have just been informed that the player cap has been reset mm -hmm. to 24. So get in quick if you want to play. The website and the code is at the top. People have obviously been waiting because they're very excited. But there's been a change in our courts because people have been ousted. They've swapped yeah. positions. Everything is going wrong and strange. It's all happening. As the winner of the previous stream, I'll be taking over as the king. Uh, I'm controlling Queen Harona, who was part of the Patricians, but is now just the queen. Yeah. Um, taking over the Patricians, we have Alex Meehan. Hello, I'm Alex Meehan. I'm taking over the Patricians, once <laughs> of the grandees of the South. I have, um, yeah, cast aside that particular mantle. You're just taking up going for whoever's winning. Yeah, pretty much. I am an opportunist for a few. Honestly, fair. Moving down the table, the grandees of the South will be represented by our former monarch, Let's Maddie just Cullen. remember that although I lost last time, I'm a whole, I'm a different person now. Yeah. So let's let's try and have some faith in me, <laughs> and let's all work together to dethrone wheels. Are you posting this as it. white text on a black background on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> now. The notes changed app. since I was overthrown. I know that I got done for being fraudulent and whatever and thrown yeah. in the dungeon, but I'm I'm rising back yeah. up. We know that you died in a jail cell, yeah. King. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a new woman. I'm a grandee now. Last but not least, a newcomer <laughs> enters the court. It's me. I'm not. I've never played this game before. So <laughs> thanks for joining me. If you're joining me, my <laughs> it's right. They don't get a choice, Matt. <laughs> Do they not? No. I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm honoured that so many people are joining me. <laughs> no, it's random. Uh, are they saying that, Maddie? It looks like we're over the player cap again. So maybe it hasn't oh. actually. Oh. Maybe it's because we haven't updated the game. Everybody Who knows? in. So yeah, jump on in. I don't know if we're going to break <laughs> things, but let's get as many people as possible, I guess, whilst we still have the chance. Um, yeah. Matt is going to be playing as the Count of the East, the vampires. The vampires, yeah. yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, no vampires. Exactly. <laughs> Matt, for your, uh, uh, for your reference, we also have the religious uh, desert-dwelling grandees of the South in okay. Maddie. 
And we have the Venetian merchants that are the patricians of the coast in green. Mm. With patricians uh, of the coast, my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. D and D maker. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very glad to to say that I have Vienna for a Venga bus. <laughs> oh. That's good. Oh. That is very good. That's such okay. a good name. Yeah. Shout out to whoever did yeah. that because that's the, fantastic. The Venga boss is coming. Yeah. Mm. There's nothing. It, look, it looks do. like maybe we're getting captured at 14 Shirley per Bassi. team. Oh, yeah. Shelly Bassey is back. Good. Oh, yeah. yeah a big shout out to our players that we have logged in. On the count of the East, we have Plague Wizard, yeah. Tony, Mackie, Sarah. Is that Sarah? I don't know. Sarah, if you're there, let me know. <laughs> uh, Jun. Twine, Arthur, Tippet Nippet, Joseph, Chris, <laughs> Hermit of Prime, Jack, Kirsty, and Baddy Wrong Legs, and yourself, man. And me, that's me. Yeah. I'm also a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn down my level with my scepter. Oh. Myself. It was for me last time. Yeah. So. There we go. <laughs> that's a little bit. That's more about Wheels' as level. Nice. Uh, on the Grandies of the South, we have M, Alejandro, oh, yeah. Cobb, Jupiter Mond, Nate Levy. Uh, oh, Tom's just jumped in. Westo Besto, Commander Vimes, Tazzles, Maxine, Gian, Silji the Second, Alex of Simpkin, Kind of Bug, Kind of <laughs> Snack, and Maddie herself. Yeah. And Cyrano oh, just jumped Sarah in. Sarah said, as well. It is Sarah. Kind of uh, that's Sarah. my wife, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And she, she said, right How did I end up on Matt's team? <laughs> uh, also, shout out to Trevor B, who is not my wife, but is also on my team. Hi, Trevor. <laughs> and last but not least, the Patricians of the Coast include Franny, Deckard the Xenomorph, Lady O Lady, Aetha, Raven, <laughs> Shirley Batty, Ben, Ken, Yuki, Ben Gadda, and Ken. Ben and Ken, and the next each other. All the ends. Io Netrunner, Scoutura, Penultima Flame, Yetta for a Vengabus, what a name, Who MD21, <laughs> Sloppinator, and Bian. Right, okay, we've Woo. got two groups of 17 and one of 16. We Let's kick things off. If you uh, would like to join, you should be able to join as the game progresses as well, so don't feel free to feel free to jump in. We have no idea what the player cap is right now. We no. were told it's 24. It does not look like 24. Maybe it's 24 per thing? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't Maybe. Know. I feel like we're going to get like a message from the dev. <laughs> and be like, breaking our game, game. stop. All the yourself. servers are on fire. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's crack Woo! this game off. I am your queen, Herona. Boo. Wow. Who would like to be my <laughs> narrator? I took the narrator job in the previous one. I'm happy to do that if you want. I'm okay. in the middle. Here we go. What should we start with? Coronation, Council Introduction, or the Path of Victory? Coronation. We've yeah, got a new monarch. Start Very at the beginning. Well. Yeah. Well, last time Matty was thrown in a river, so we'll see. Who would like to... <laughs> Matt, you can be my chancellor. Okay. Your Majesty, you may have won the throne, but you must still answer to the council. I don't know about that. <laughs> As is tradition, they will decide what happens at your coronation. Let's get this over with. In the river. Should we call the nobles in? <laughs> okay. If you are new to King of the Castle, here's how it works. You are going to get a choice between these four options and you will see on each option that they each have an effect. Uh, some will be quite explicit. So, for example, the treasury is how much gold we have in the queen's coffers. Um, and that will go down a thousand, for example, if we host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. That is fun. However, <laughs> some of them, like stability or trade, uh, can affect different people in different ways. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll go up quite a lot. Sometimes they will go up only a little bit. And obviously sometimes they go down. Um, there are also some hidden effects that some things will have. Which Ooh. I discovered sadly last yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it did not help you. Uh, and then I have a few ways in which I can mess with things. So, for example, I do not want to be thrown in the river. Hey, <laughs> you're no fun. Vetoed. It didn't work out for Maddie. I'm it not going to let it happen honestly, to me. Honestly, I would have done the same if I was doing it over. So now we're going to start the vote, and you have three options left. We can host a lavish parade of jugglers and famous wines, which will cost my treasury, but improve my stability. I love the idea of any kingdom that thinks jugglers are lavish. Just like, <laughs> what's the most extravagant thing we can think of? It's jugglers. This is the Barbie dynasty, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I um, said this <laughs> We can also invite foreign dignitaries and show off our wealth which will mm. cost treasury, but will improve the wealth of everyone else, I believe. Of that. Oh. It's interesting. Mm. Uh, and also increase their trade. Mm. Okay. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, the nobles must put on a vast banquet for the queen, which no will way. decrease your wealth and increase our farm. I love happening. that. Let the voting commence. I'm going to go for B. I'm going for B as well. Because I, I quite like the just flashing cash. Of our, no, uh, we get wealth. Oh my god, everyone's going oh, yeah. for Yeah. So many Let boos vote, in the chat that I took away the throw in the river options. Oh, well. Everyone vote B for me because I can't vote right now, but 
Please do it. Maddie, have you DC'd already? Uh, no, it's Mine just, it took just a couple, not yeah. So one thing that we all point out, if you are a guest and you're not logged mm. in via Steam, careful about refreshing because you'll get booted out, essentially, and then yes. you might get uh, put into a different team. Well, I wonder who won. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very Voting good. Voting has closed. I feel like we need music, you know? You do. Probably not turned it off, sorry. Would you like to be underrated then, Maddie? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> May the narrator begin. Dignitaries arrive from all corners of Celeste Ath, and it's only appropriate you show off. A trained eagle oh my God. encrusted crown atop your head as you stand on a golden podium. That's incredible. Yep. That's how I start my mornings. Wow. A little better than I had. The awed crowd includes such influential figures as the Dukes of Saal, the Princes of Tal Tav Tavalin, Tavalin, and even a pearl bearer <gasps> from oh. Atesh. <laughs> Atesh! <laughs> Bless you, my lord. Lucrative trade deals are struck at the evening's feast. Oh. So see, here we oh. will see the uh, things that have happened. So the trade has gone up for every faction. You can see that the self is now only struggling. This Look is a you. classic move, though. You <laughs> expense an eagle dropping a ruby in your crown. You're like, well, we made some deals, so it's a business dinner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll yeah. put that down as networking. No, you just have someone be like, my God, that <laughs> ruby really my makes God, me there's an eagle here. <laughs> really wants me to do trade. <laughs> my God, he broke him in half. Uh, <laughs> we've also seen chair. that some of the patrician mm -hmm. counts and grandees have had their wealth increased. So you will see at the top of your screens, if you're playing at home, Ooh. that you have a personal wealth, Ooh. which you'll be able to spend on things and may come up at story events as well. Which yeah. is really How exciting. We sadly bankrupted some people last night. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie? Okay. Only the Grand Pensionary of Kurth is not in attendance. The Republic, after all, is fundamentally opposed to the very concept of monarchy. Yes, well, I you're not invited to my birthday party then. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Let's find out what uh, what we're up to yeah. for this session, I want to my path to victory. Let's see what I would like to do. Uh, Mian, would you like to be my spy master? Mm. Your Majesty, the history books do not look kindly upon usurpers. Yeah, well, I don't know why you would bring that up. <laughs> Unless, of course, they prove themselves worthy of the throne they have stolen. Would you die? How do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Okay, so I need to pick my own goal. Yeah. Yes. It's a tough one. It is a tough How one. How will you be remembered? I think currently farming is our best... Yeah, I'm going to be a, the, as the mother, mother of the, of the nation. Oh. The mother of the nation. Interesting. Are you concerned for the welfare of the commoners? Or are you just yeah, hoping cool. for a favourable passage in the history books? Shut up, Spymaster. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest over the next few years you focus upon improving the kingdom's overall farming as much as possible. Excellent idea. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Right, time to get Good bonking luck. then, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what? Last this is but a not family least. channel. Let us meet our royal council. Oh, 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 get him oh, a oh, bus. That's you again, Mian. Mm, we did it. By the ninth, we had to pull some strings, but you got you that crown, just as I said we would. So the, as events come through, so the, we're, this is a continuation of our last session, yeah. so we'll have references to the yeah. last game. Oh, that's cool. Now just remember to uphold your end of the deal. You're not really a queen, bless you, more like an employee of the patrician. Yennefer, oh. I'm not sure I appreciate your wording there. Yennefer. What have I governed for the good of the whole kingdom? That would be completely against the spirit of our deal. <laughs> We'd be forced to take drastic action. Okay. Very well, Yennefer. Good to know. <laughs> now, introduce yourself to the rest of the council, but don't forget what I told you today. Of course, Yennefer. Ah, the Counts of the East. Oh, Trevor Bees. Trevor Bees. An honour to make your, to finally make your acquaintance, your highness. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Oh, thank you so much, Trevor. <laughs> and the grandees of the South. May the ninth god bless your reign, your holiness. I trust you will conduct yourself with honour and faith. No. And with that, the introductions <laughs> are done. <laughs> good seeing you, bye. <laughs> Mm, what do you think? Will she be a good little queen and do as she's told? 
too early to tell, but I have a bad feeling. <laughs> you should have a backup plan just in case. Right then. So, there is three events per season. Mm -hmm. At the end of the season, things will happen. But at the end of the first season, we're going to find out what everyone's plot is. Oh. oh God, I love to plot. We <gasps> start with the Counts. My Who's fellow thinking? Counts. In ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false <gasps> Queen Hirona has the crowd. So My so ears are burning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm trying to set you on fire. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's time to vote on what you would like to do. Ooh, so this will be the first step will be your goal. So you can lower def lowest defiance, raise others' defiance, or lower own defiance. Um, then as... There's You're... only 15 seconds left. There's only 15 I'm panicking. seconds. But you better pick one, Go, folks. Uh, yeah, let's let's raise let's let's raise defiance. Let's R raise others' defiance. Yeah, but also the other two are lower. I just want to overthrow the monarchy. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> Matt just wants to rebel. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Intimidation Come on, is counts. the name of the game at the moment. So as the game progresses, you will you will do your goal, and if you do your first goal, you move on to the next one. If you complete all three stages of the scheme you will overthrow the monarchy. Mm. But you are competing with everyone else to try and do it before them. <laughs> and I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you. Mm. Oh, intimidation. Intimidation it is. Chaos reigns. Am I, is this no You're, narration? narrator. Yeah. There's no, no name. The Count's plan to hold the Queen hostage in her own palace. <gasps> First, they must distract the spy master. Oh. Um, Rachel says, just joined and got sorted into the sexy vampire group. Love that for me. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> and to advance your sexy vampire scheme, the counts must raise <laughs> other regions' defiance to a combined total of at least eight. Oh my God. Or ensure another region begins a rebellion in three seasons. Uh, well, that's going to be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Currently at three and oh, so we'll yeah. see about that. Combined one. total though, right? So we need two. It is. I don't know how easy. No, it is no, no, others, others. Oh. So just before we start the grandees, oh. so you'll see you've got these two little purple signifiers that show you that you are currently below. So you need to get right. higher. Right. Got you. Uh, if you need it to be lower, then it will be pointing down. For example. Come on, counts. Katano. My fellow counts. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Oh. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. Ooh, what are our options? Okay. Subterfuge will lower your stability. Witch hunt, go for the highest Witch faith. Witch hunt? Well, further, raise own farm. Once again, I can't vote, so <laughs> I would like witch hunt. So I, I recommend further, personally. I think further sounds really good. So. Mm. It's like, mm. we don't I feel like that benefits and you. And you're already doing really well on farming at the world point now. You've already, got, you've already got really good farming. Don't let so. wheels get in your head just because <laughs> I can't get out there and vote Yes, you. Alex of Simkin and Warren, you're very correct no. in your estimations, but witch unfortunately hunt. I believe it's not going witch to be enough. Hunt. Let's hunt the witch. Both of those are good for you. Hunt. you got the highest faith already? you got the, the, the faith, lot of farming. We're faithful. Yeah, yeah faithful. you only just got the highest faith at the moment, though. Okay, continue. No, oh. we're just letting everyone in. That's fine. Here we go. Voting is closed. Voting is closed. Witch hunt to give. Witch hunt, witch hunt. Uh, there's all sorts of heresy in the capital. Oh, love it. And the grandees intend to expose it. First, they must ensure the South is beyond reproach. To advance their scheme, the grandees must be the re region with the highest faith in three seasons. And last but not least. We can do it, Sal. Mm. Oh, um, unfortunately, mm. not there helping you, but we can do it. Camilla. <laughs> They're in spirit. Fellow mm. protrusions of the coast have done good authority that Queen Hirona plans to betray us. How dare you? <laughs> Crown <laughs> me and I'll keep my promises. Mm. Ooh. Lady or Lady's already jumped in yeah. on Monopoly. Yes. So well, trade. trade yeah, lowering the treasury or lowering up. Let's have a Monopoly, everyone. That does sound fun. Yeah. Let's I just believe, go all I believe in that's how trade. the traditions won last time. It is. So... No, because I was doing trade and you guys weren't backing it. Wow, this you is... Were... Yeah, no, that's why we ended up working together a lot. Because we both wanted trade. No, you were working with, with me and... Hello. Lowering my stability. We were working together. Uh, oh, yeah, which, but uh, also we, we formed a sort of alliance. 
Do you not no. remember that? I only married you to stop you. Stop you. Yeah, exactly. We got married. It. it was fine. You loved us. You, you were no. such a big fan of us. I did it to protect myself, and mechanically, it didn't protect me. So learn from my mistake. Right. Well, Monopoly. At least we know what's going to happen. So we'll Monopoly, see. that great game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all love Dice Monopoly. For the sake of Blink One's Buddy and some other folks who have just jumped in, can you quickly explain what's going on, what we're playing today? Hello, we are playing King of the Castle. If you would like to join, you will see that there is a room code in the top left. You can go over to kotc.app on your phone, type in that code, and P -P you will play along. MZ. It's PPMZ. <laughs> You will be sh uh, slotted into one of the three factions, either the Counts, the Grandees, or the Patricians. You will see that they are color-coded on camera to see your leader. So, for example, Grandies. Mian is in charge of the Patricians. Um, if you are uh, part of a team, you will see that they each have a goal. Uh, we're just fi finding out what the green one is at the moment. But, for example, the Yellows would like to have the highest faith out of all three factions. Yes. Um, you have to keep advancing those things by voting for... Uh, options that give you the most favourable yep. outcome, at which point you will try and overthrow my position as Queen Heron. But that, of course, won't happen. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Hmm. Uh, Skatora says, oh great, we're Tories. <laughs> 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 to advance their scheme, the patricians must raise their trade to five or more in four seasons. They're looking good. Yeah, I mean, you're on nine. Yeah. So... Come on, the, count. the, the counts. The counts have, have really biffed it. But apart from that, everyone's <laughs> Look, looking great. it's just so... It looks more impressive in the end. Yeah, look, you've, so got, cool. you've got we, big We goals. never take the easy route. Yeah. No, of course yeah. not. Of course not. A treacherous half brother. Oh my god. <laughs> to you. My god. Long lost nephew and a false pretender. <gasps> so, oh, this is their this is their claim to the throne. I see. Yeah. 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 Okay. Interesting. That's uh, very interesting. Rail says, "Down with the queen. Long live the counts." Thank you, Rail. I love you, Rail. Hey. I mean, I, it's hard not to root for the counts because they're so fun. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Right, well, as a former patrician of the coast, I think we should find out what this <laughs> new trend is that's oh, happening over here. I'm all about trends. Everybody's you know, doing TikTok and all that. Oh my god, it's crabs, Maddie. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> yes! Um, who's this? Uh, it's the green, treasure. you might as well be the okay. treasurer. Um, Lady Patricia Yuki is here to see your majesty. She wants to sell you a, a crab. Excuse me? Of course she does. <laughs> <laughs> it's the latest trend among the coast, your majesty. Patricians are starting keeping a species of jeweled crab as a fashionable pet. Interesting. Creatures are so rare that one now can sell for as much as a mansion. My goodness. That's fair, because I would, I would want to buy a fancy crab. Mm. I would drive those, those uh, up. I mean, yeah, who doesn't want a fancy crab? I could send her away. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, send her in. Thank you for seeing me, Your Majesty. I know the price is cheap, but I assure you these crabs will only go off of value. Door-to-door -door crab sales Buy the person. box of crabs. Buy the Buy box, the of, box crabs. of crabs. Buy the box of crabs. <laughs> Finally, I get to have a choice. It's not up to a vote, so I'm not sure about this. I'll actually. make the Buy sale the of crabs. jeweled crabs illegal. Oh. You're going to wreck the economy. <laughs> the problem is, right, that you're not buying the crabs. But then you could, this is what the patricians want, and they want trade, so you could make them illegal, and then they're, they're trade yeah. them down, probably. I will just point out, that the problem is that me and Maddie saw this play out as part of our press trip when we first oh, learned about yeah. King the Castle, and it, it didn't spell well for is the it economy. the same, do you know? Or Not necessarily, uh, I don't okay. think, but that was like one of the example events they gave. Uh, they the, they mm, played it out live. People in the chat say, buy the crabs, buy the crabs, purchase people the crustaceans, crabs, 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 crabs. Look, I, look me and I'm keeping you on good terms, okay? Oh, look. Bringing some lovely wealth into your <laughs> coffers. Oh. Crabs, 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 crabs. <laughs> and the voice oh. of the chat. Crabs, people want to get you. <laughs> oh, is, is it me? It's Maddie, it's always you. you I'm, gonna... I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just singing crabs. Uh, counting out your gold, <laughs> Lady Patricia Yuki assures you that you will not regret your purchase. Who could? Who could, Who could regret, regret a buying crab? George crabs? I'm Look. just yeah. so overwhelmed at you buying the crabs. A I box even... of crabs. A box of them. Even what? if it turns out that they're worthless, what a lovely little pet. They're jeweled. Yeah. They, they are the jeweled. Patricia Yuki, congratulations on your newfound wealth. Congrats. Right, let's see what's going on in the capital. Um, honor Guard. Now that Ooh. sounds fun. Matt, our marshal? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me find a voice. <laughs> it is tradition. Each region <laughs> offers a selection of elite guards. The Council yes. Knights of the Order of the Drowned Rose. The patricians will champion gladiators from the arena. And the grandees offer the finest battle nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel. Woo! Yes, it's true. 
Think carefully, Your Majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. So true, bestie. <laughs> of course, you'll be taking the gladiators, Your Majesty. None of the other options are half as muscly. Yes, but the, the nuns are very bad. We went with the battle nuns last time. And it didn't go wrong. What foreign mercenaries do you suggest, just out of interest? Uh, a band of fearsome fighters from the Tatalans called the Battle Bitten Brethren. Ooh, mm. that's pretty fun. They specialise in bodyguard work, but they're costly, and hiring foreigners will be considered an insult to all the regions. Mm. <sighs> I think, in fact, the uh, the Coastal Gladiators is the, actually the best choice for me. Okay. Because you're not bothered about trade at the moment. Uh, sorry, you're not bothered about military at the moment, so no. it's not that's really right. that big a deal for you. Um, I'm pretty sure inviting battle nuns into my court would probably increase your faith over to the grandees. I just think it'd be really cool, though. Just think how hot it would be. And they're plotting to defy you. Yeah. Mr. Knights. Not, not to mention that I don't want my defiance to go up, so I shouldn't hire those mercenaries. And they are the most muscly. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hear you, a little bit more about. We know you love that. Oh, you. Oh, well, there are a of low-born uh, crooks who turn themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. But they're oh, very like muscly. Yeah. The skill with battle is undeniable, but can you trust them? Yeah, I, very I reckon muscly. so. I wait your verdict with bated breath, Your Majesty. Oh, his breath. What are you buying? <laughs> what, are you <laughs> <selling>? <laughs> what are you selling? Mercenaries, I just told you that. We had a detailed conversation about it. <laughs> yes, I'll have the foreign mercenaries, please. You... What? Oh. Wait, that was the wrong one. You just <laughs> did. Oh. You fool. You that picked was... the worst one for you. That is actually not what I meant to pick. <laughs> well... You've really done it now. That marshal just really sold him, you know. I don't think it's your fault. Depths below, your serene highness. How could you choose them? I'm, I'm genuinely not, not sure, not actually. Sure at all. Lady Patricia, Lady O'Lanian. I don't know what came over me. My finger slipped on my medieval computer. <laughs> you had your abacus in front of you, and you had to yeah. say, oh. My cursor appears to be cursed. Uh, I will say, though, that, um, you know. Uh, everything's fine. So don't worry <laughs> yeah. about it. I think you were just throwing Matt Jarvis a bone. Yeah. yeah. Also, let's all remember, um, alliteration is a very <laughs> strong way yeah. of improving your market value. So, so you know. It's all in the marketing, you know. I will make the arrangements at once. Thank you, Marshall. The, the battle bitten brethren arrive a few weeks later. You've never seen such a gang of huge, unpleasant looking cutthroats sneering and smirking and cleaning their fingernails with daggers. I actually have a tool for that. No, okay. Well. <laughs> Your fears are assured by their commander, a grey haired man who calmly explains the service they provide. As long as the coin doesn't run out, they'll sacrifice themselves to the last man on your behalf. My fears were actually swayed. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, Ooh. last but not least, I have a proposition. Oh. Your Majesty, I have an idea. The best since line parchment, I dare say. Well, that oh. is quite a claim, Treasurer. <laughs> An expedition. An expedition, you say? Interesting. Ooh. To Chur. To Chur? Sounds true. Who's that? The vastness of Chur, Your Majesty, the great unexplored, untamed continent far across the eastern sea, Chur. Oh, mm. colonialism. I love colonialism. <laughs> we have a lot of wealth at the you moment, would. Your Majesty. <laughs> Just sitting around collecting dust. I'm not sure I do, actually. I've spent a lot of money. Why not make a sound investment and send explorers to Chur? Who knows what they might find? Treasure, <gasps> rare materials, ancient history, a new disease. That's not really selling it. Wow, a new disease. <laughs> She's a bit too animated when she says <laughs> the word she disease. Loves that. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, it sounds like. I'm not wasting money on such a risk. Oh. She looks crestfallen. What about the diseases? But nods yeah. curtly. I'm sorry, I'm a bit poor at the moment. Very well, oh, your a pile yeah. of gold remain a pile. Perhaps another time. Always well, good to have a rainy day fund. Big oh, crabs. Crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a burn of like Wait, a massive I'm, pile I'm, of gold will remain a massive pile of gold. I'm imagining you're just you've just let the crabs roam. No, I've actually got a throne made of them. And they're yeah. all wriggling oh, underneath. One on well. each oh. corner. Oh. Would you want that underneath your bum? End of the season. They pinch my bottom oh, so go. well. It's time to start using your personal wealth to bid on buildings. Looks like the counts have an option of improving their trade or decreasing their faith with a grand bazaar and observatory, respectively. We can uh, decrease the farming of the grandees or, or decrease their trade with a deer park or a thieves guild. 
and the patricians have the option of increasing their farming and decreasing their stability with an aqueduct and a prison. I believe the aqueduct would be a fantastic idea for the patricians if they want to keep you on good terms. I think that would be a fine idea. Very well, then. It's not really looking great other than the observatory, which we don't want. Let the funding begin! I really don't know whether I should refresh because to, uh, I'm, otherwise is it I'm just, just not working sitting. at all. Yeah. yeah. Can you do anything? No, it just is like it's just. Oh wow! People really want that observatory. I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah, get there. Oh get my there, god! Screw it. Do a refresh, Maddie. Okay, See what I'm gonna happens. try. I might be. Le- we might have a turncoat in our midst. Oh no! I'm back in. Sweet. I'll, I'll put. Yeah. I'll oh put my god! Some money is... into farming as good a good faith move. Thank you, uh, fellow patricians. Why not take? Uh, a leaf out of your leader's books and invest in the farming future. Okay. Mm. Couple of couple of hundred So coins. says Mother of the Nation, Queen like whatever my fun. name is, Harona. <laughs> my <Queen> Harona. Harona. <laughs> Harona. Harona. Oh. Well, good luck beating the observatory. Grandies, I'm so it's fine. It's the top two. It's the top two that get... Fl- um, oh. Get, get yeah. Oh, so people want that present. Oh. It's in that second spot, although... Check something in. Oh, time's up. God, it feels so good to be back with my grandees. How are we doing, guys? Beautiful. Shout out to Yuki. Thank you, patricians. Thank you. Relic hoarder, I see your, uh, your, whatever the word is, contributions. And uh, I appreciate them. Uh, where do we want to, where do we go to see if we can log in? It's t k o t c dot app. You can see it right here. And you I'm want the room code? Oh, yeah. Around. The room code is PPMZ. Join us. Wait, hang on. Uh, giant spiders. Giant spiders. Giant spiders. Giant spiders. I hate this for me. Oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's horrible. Well, that is in your but land. There's at all. more important things to do. I need to find a spouse. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, oh. Here we go. Who this is Matt Charles. It's Matthew. Uh, I can't remember the voice I did. Uh, your Majesty, it's important you find a spouse sooner rather than later. I agree. Oh, it's slipping into the merchant guy. <laughs> I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference, men, women, or do not mind? Oh, any will do. Hey! Thank you, Your Majesty. Hey! I'll you send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Ooh. Let's see what they have Ooh. to offer. Interesting. This is an easy enough decision. You'll marry into the patricians, as we agreed before you took the throne, right? Right? I tell you what, this Shirley Bassey is a very yeah. pushy <laughs> patrician. Oh, Shirley, push him. Look, you said you would. All right, well, look, let's just figure out what this honorable <laughs> challenge is before anything else happens. Yeah, that's not. Oh, Ooh, okay. Your Highness, this braggish old <laughs> musk 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 out has besmirched my honor. He spread rumors that my sword is fake. Oh, what's so special about your sword? Why, it was once wielded by Saint Bertrand, of course, back in the fourth century. Is that the Saint Bertrand Probably. that's been brought back as a skeleton? Maybe. Maybe. I can't remember what my lore is. What? Which braggish old muck spout are you talking about? That honorless dog, Aether of the Patricians. You are causing a lot of trouble over there, Mian. <laughs> Look, I would duel him to regain my honor as any grandee should, but Lord Patrician Aether will not accept without your express permission. Without my express permission, you say? No, oh, hold on a minute. Matter <laughs> of respect, can't be dueling Queen Hurna's friend room about due process. I agree, due process is good, because it puts me in charge. You're a coward, Aether, and you may as well admit it now. Oh my goodness. God, it's getting heated in here. Well, your sword's clearly thick. I've seen olden swords in the quenching vat. <gasps> that's where they make new <laughs> ones. <laughs> oh, that's the joke, yeah. Hmm. It might be fun. It, it might, be, it might fun. be. It's incredibly fun. Yeah, go on, then it'd be yeah, a laugh, get over it. Get over it. It's just a sword. <laughs> Be a laugh. CMDR Vimes grins wickedly, drawing their sword. Aether turns his nose up slightly, then draws a bejeweled oh rapier my and points wow. it squarely at CMDR Vimes. That's what the crabs Vimes. were rocking. The duelists circle each other before Grandy CMDR Vimes steps in for the first move. I believe it's Commander. Oh, Commander. That yeah, that would be easier. <laughs> Aether jumps backwards, battling the, uh, batting the sword away. A second strike comes straight after, but this time it's a feint. As Aether moves to defend, Commander Vimes twists and redirects their attack. Oh my god, this is tennis. Oh, cleanly wow. through Aether's clothing, who howls oh. in pain. 
Damn, a howl. With that, Grandy Commander Vime steps back and bows deeply. First blood, I win. I suppose you do, Commander Vimes. Well? Oh, that was it. How boring. <laughs> Defiance down either way Boo. sounds good. Wow. Wow. The people returns to their business. Commander Vimes and the Grandees view your sanction of the jewel as respecting their customs and are clearly grateful. But only a little bit. You're welcome. Your, I have to say, your court is pretty chaotic. It's full of, yeah. full of hey, bejeweled crabs. We've literally, Bejeweling. we've just had a rebellion. <laughs> All right, oh like, things are going to so get a little true. bit spicy for a bit. Speaking of, they'll, they'll calm down. Uh, Don't worry about the giant spiders in the south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is also how I would react. Oh wow, good, perfect. Kind thing. of bug, kind of snack. Oh, yeah, God, kind of bug, kind of snack. Your holiness, a forest on my land has been completely overrun by giant spiders. Ooh. Some are as big as horses. That is oh, too God. big for a spider to be. The trees are shrouded in webs and travelers are going missing. We must put a stop to this. Time for a vote. <laughs> stop the spiders. <laughs> Burn it. All right. Coexist. Burn it coexist. So, coexist. Learn to coexist with spiders. How cool. Sometimes no. uh, we will have a challenge. Burn. So you can see that because military is quite low across the board, we have only a 40% chance of success if we choose it. Um, but if we send in the army to wipe them out, it is not a sure deal, but it could go well. Mm. Otherwise, we could just burn it all burn down. It. Trade will go down, country. farming will go down, defiance will go up. So I believe the counts will like that. Mm, that is pretty good, actually. Helps them only. I could put a bounty on giant spider legs, which is going <laughs> to cost me even more money. Uh, or we can learn to coexist with giant spiders. Burn it all! Yeah, actually, I was at first. I was like, we could coexist, but now I'm just like, let's just is set it, all on fire. Would it that be sounds much trade more fun. going down? No! Oh! Okay, we'll learn to live. Everyone's living this I already know what everyone's gonna pick. Coexist. Coexist. Bounty on giant spider coexist. Legs. Yeah, bounty. I think I agree with you, Maddie. Everyone, let's put the, a bounty put on a giant no, spider legs. No, I want his spouse to be a giant spider. <laughs> this is the only way we can make oh, this no. happen. Hey, look, I've played Dark Souls. No, yeah, this is how you you find peace. You marry the families. A vampire yeah. would say this. Yeah, coexist right. with giant spiders. Come on. Bounty, well, bounty. let the voting commence. Bounty. Come on, bounty. come on, count. Straight bounty. in. Bounty. Coexist. Bounty. Oh, it's a, it's a neck and neck race. Bounty. bounty. Love a bounty. <laughs> yeah, we love a bounty. Yeah, delicious. I appreciate the confidence of Cookie. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh so no, my money. Oh my God. Bounty. Oh, no. yes. Come on. My money. <laughs> yes, make them rebel. <laughs> yes. I can't believe no one else wants to see the spider human marriage I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> that, I would love that, but I hate spiders so so much. Yeah, yeah as long as the spiders die, I'm happy. I can't. I refuse. <laughs> All righty then. More money. Yes, Yay. You made right choices there, everybody. Good choices. You send an urgent message to the Adventurers Guild. The next day, a band of scarred ruffians with impractical weapons appear before the council to hear your problem. Excellent. Adventurer? Mia. Joint spiders, is it? Damn it, those things give me the creeps. Right. Um, Ooh. Okay, so it's the same thing no matter what, isn't it? Yeah. That's me Me too. That's why I want them gone. <laughs> we'll do our best. No promises. Soon adventurers are stacking oh. spider legs high in your throat room crabs. and walking out with pockets of Spider full legs. Of I've got too many insectoid <laughs> legs lying around. What a kingdom. Core legs. Uh, Grandy, kind of bug, kind of snack, is pleased to inform you that their spider problem has been mostly solved and merchants are returning to the roads. Good I to see that your, that your defiance is dropped. Lovely. I'm looking more stable. Uh, and your trade That's is now nice. improved. So, yeah, good. Hey, I'll Fantastic. Take that. Nothing really care I about. I cannot believe everyone's but... so committed to a peaceful kingdom. I don't <laughs> want a peaceful desperate. kingdom. I just want to be faithful. No, they just want to bankrupt me, Matt. That's what they want to do. Very well. Let us end the season. The tax. Oh. Tax time, eh? Ooh. Let's tax the Counts of the East. <laughs> because they are looking quite wealthy, oh, wow. might I say. <laughs> and also, I don't mind if their defiance goes up. Wow. Oh, that's so true. Blase. The Counts sell a cursed know. idol to gullible Danian merchants for 500 wealth. <laughs> mm. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. You'll pay for this, my queen. Sell that cursed idol. 
Well, everyone's Ooh. looking very happy with my reign. Crab futures! Oh no! Crab futures! We've also got eligible options! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm going to turn this into a dating game. Okay. <laughs> Chancellor Oh, Manson. Chancellor. <laughs> Sorry, my lord, I was busy. Uh, I found free. <laughs> I was dancing to my tunes. <laughs> I found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's free regions. Ooh. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. And a partner for life to have and to hold, don't forget. Aww. Indeed, your majesty. That's nice. The chancellor leads you to the Great Hall, where they've arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. All right, then let's see the, the eligible, eligible candidates. candidates. Tonight in the villa, they whisk away the cloth from the first portrait. Ooh, what a fine moustache. This is Sasara, the eldest heir of the Eastern Tippet Nippet dynasty. <laughs> in their youth, they ran off and tried to join a circus. Oh. They found them in the end, thank the ninth. Interesting. Okay, bit, bit wild. Clown core, is he? Nice. Clown core. <laughs> yes. They've lost half the family fortune in the gambling halls, oh, unfortunately. They got in some trouble with the Inquisition a while ago, but it didn't come to it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, intriguing. <laughs> yeah, bit of a me hot mess. From the coast, oh. we have Eulalia, the wealthy heiress to Lord Patrician Cal... Uh, Caduceus. Caduceus? Caduceus. Sure, Caduceus's estate. He put his full Caduceus into that <laughs> one. Did. I mean, Caduceus. just look at her. She's gorgeous. And apparently, she's got a silver tongue. Oh. Too. Okay. Oh. <laughs> she loves to go hunting, which isn't a common hobby among the Patricians. She's an absolute fountain of energy. No one can keep up with her. So I like the sound of her. The most and finally, oh. from the south, Melkor, the eldest son of the Alejandro lineage. He's reputed to have an eagle the size of the sun, but there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? No, he's no, a Leo, not. it's fine. Stop he's it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a savvy businessman who has had success in the spice trade. Oh, he's spicy. Unfortunately, <laughs> the business went belly up due to his ramshackle accounting. Uh, okay, not bad. Accounting's boring. You don't want someone who's boring and into accounting. You want to be fun, spicy, <laughs> ramshackle. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think of accountants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong lead, a, a alliance. That's I almost a said lie. allegiance. I had all Remember. A's in my mind. Remember, we made a deal. We did, and to be honest, you sound quite wealthy, so I've made my decision. Yeah, I will be marrying Eulalia of the coast. Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. Look at how loyal you are now, Mia. I know. Have I not been a good puppet queen? Oh, I'm kissing <laughs> the feet good. of the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Comet sighting. Oh, interesting. Let's find out. I want a sighter. Well, Baddy wrong legs. Conte Baddy wrong legs. <laughs> a blood red comet was spotted in the night sky over oh, the God. east, your majesty. The peasants are claiming it's a terrible omen. The common folk are on the verge of panic. Is there anything I can do? Mm. Um, well, I'll tell them there's nothing to worry about. Let's let's test our authority, shall we? Ooh. You deliver Excellent. a speech reassuring the peasants of the East that the comment isn't a good or a bad thing, just a thing. Probably the ninth god riding a chariot or whatever. I believe Not so, that. yes. <laughs> He's always up to that. Fortunately, the common folk take you at your word. After all, if the queen says something, you'd better listen. That's true. The peasants go back to work in the fields, ignoring the comment entirely. Good peasants. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right, let's find out what's happening. Crab Crab future, sailors. Future, sailors. future sailors. Look at them. I can't <laughs> remember what this person is sounding like. The crab craze has swollen to unforeseen heights, your majesty. Uh, that's good, isn't it? More crab news. <laughs> the trade is so profitable that patricians are shutting down textile mills. Focus on crab catching. Thousands are unemployed. Hmm. <laughs> but who cares about that, Your Majesty? Your box of crabs is now worth nearly double what you paid for it. That is great. Sell, sell, sell! Sell, sell, sell! <laughs> hold your nerve and hold on to the crabs! Sell, sell, sell! Nice. You sell your crabs for much more than you paid. The treasurer appears satisfied with your practicality. Thank practicality. You, treasurer. 
Thousands unemployed, but you made a bit of dosh. Oh, your trade is only opulent now. <laughs> 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 no! He's along the coast. He's crabs yeah, for a about short that. term. <laughs> don't worry about that. Short term. Let the industry well. collapse. What you do is you just make crabs the economy. Yeah. 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 Trading crabs. <gasps> Far in the Count east. Chris. Count Chris is hosting a dinner party in his castle with a few distinguished guests. It's infuriating. The Queen spies still follow our every move. <laughs> we'll never catch her unawares at this rate. No, you won't. In <laughs> oh, Ooh, this is a different Count Jack. Indeed, we need to step up our efforts or the throne will be forever beyond our reach. Ah, the Counts of East London. <laughs> <laughs> the Count's aim is to raise the other region's defiance to a total of at least eight or, or ensure another region begins a rebellion. Come on, Counts. <laughs> you your own at this rate. In a distant <laughs> castle. In a picturesque castle overlooking the southern city of Mayrona, mm -hmm. two grandees lie back to enjoy the sun. Oh. Yeah! Praise <laughs> be! Whispers of our plans have reached the peasants, and they are in an uproar. They call for the sins of the queen to be laid What bare. sins? So Don't many worry sins. about it. Crabs. When your crab sins. I already have, like, <laughs> so many leads of information from inside the palace that we can use against the queen. It's, like, only a matter of time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we have the High Inquisitor on our side, but we must also sow dissent among the other regions. We won't succeed alone. Oh, there's a lot of dissent talk going on the moment. the next stage of their scheme, the grandees must raise other regions' defiance to a to combined total of at least eight. We're working yeah. together. Yeah. Oh, or into God. another rebellion. Oh, no. Yay, defiance. That's so chaos. I right. Defiance. It's Finally. time to adopt another law. Ooh. Interesting. Mm. Oh, that's fun. I'm going to adopt the monarch's iron choice in a bid to try and improve my authority. Because when someone's defiance is higher than my authority, they have a chance of rebelling. Yes. So it happened. It happened to me. All right. <gasps> the royal wedding. <gasps> the Time wedding! for the royal wedding. Ding. Time to get married. Ding. Your wedding to, what was that again, Eulalia? Eulalia. Eulalia. Your wedding to Eulalia is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across, across the realm to attend for a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. Full of crabs. <laughs> Full of crabs and spider legs. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Eulalia at your side. <laughs> Me and the, we have less character voices than a minus 400 decibels. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? <laughs> Why is Miss Piggy officiating this wedding? I do. I do, Miss Piggy. <laughs> I pronounce you queen and wife. Then I pronounce you a queen and wife. <laughs> 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 after the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. Your new wife, Eulalia, laps up the attention, delivering a witty speech in which she flatters you outrageously. Oh, oh, she's she's going lower over here. What's that? Authority and stability is up, and everyone's defiance is down. Oh my Ooh. god! Bad vibes. <laughs> Bad vibes. By the time you find yourself alone with Eulalia, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. Ooh. Thank goodness. You dance so... Oh, oh wait, that's dance. not the <laughs> You dance so very beautifully. Oh, Eulalia. <laughs> Such a wonderful day, wasn't it? Oh, what dulcet tones you have, Eulalia. <laughs> Agree with her. You endure... <laughs> You endure a long conversation in which Eulalia seems determined to flatter you relentlessly and agree with everything you say. Uh, Eulalia, you do tickle me. By night's end, you still don't know who Eulalia really is. Her real personality is concealed beneath a hundred layers of etiquette. You go to your separate bedchambers, still strangers. Boo! <laughs> Why don't you put out? <laughs> 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 All right, what, what are we feeling? Am uh, I wrong? The deceased or Brantyford? Wow. I would also deceased. like to... Look, we can see all the other places. Ooh, so I wonder where all. this place that we were going to go on to... Uh, oh, I guess it's not even on the map, is it? No, no that's Havelin. That I, think was it was, I think it's that way. Yeah, it's Havelin was mentioned. Deceased. Okay, deceased that's it is. Of course the vampires picked the dead one. Yes. <laughs> 
the elderly lady, <laughs> Patricia Dimitra. <laughs> A cousin many times moon Lady Patricia Knapp died in her sleep last week. Oh, no. She was nearly 90, would you believe? Better end than most of us get. Indeed, Your Majesty. She stayed at home in the coast most of the time, enjoying herself. Sounds fantastic. She could have spent more time in her accounts. <laughs> she died without will. The nobles are scrabbling for her estate. Are they oh. indeed? Lady Patricia... Dimitra was my relative. I wrote to her at least once a year. Of course, the estate should be mine. Oh, you wrote a letter, did you, Nat? Well done. <laughs> my late great grandfather used to play backgammon That's with her. That's even lazier. He swore she intended to leave it to our family. By sea and storm, that's a pitiful claim. I like backgammon's more personal than a letter, but I mean. Okay. Defiance. Defiance, Defiance up. Defiance up. So we could give the estate to Lady Patricia Nat or to Countess Rachel. Mm. We could redistribute the estate amongst yes. the coastal peasants. Yes. Redistribute the wealth. I mean, that sounds like Give a great to idea, to be honest. Oh, or we could the claim Tories. the estate for the treasury. I do. Do you know what? I agree. Let's redistribute the wealth. Oh. Let's claim the estate for the treasury. Redistribute the wealth, I believe. Yes. Mm, I think can claim the estate for the treasury now. Yeah. I don't. I don't want authority going up. No. Let's let's redistribute. No. Co come on, communism. Yeah. Look, I'm in it for my also, own. I can, monarchs, I can, I can, I I can it. either be authoritative or I can be rich. You pick. <laughs> Either way, I'm happy. True communism. Um. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be authoritative, and all of my yeah. peasants are going to be very happy with the me. Wealth. These are much better choices than I was having. You're going to be rich and authoritative. You've got the baby game, yeah. to be fair. Which, but which is interesting to see. Yeah, it's it, like, get, it gets a little bit easier for the monarch as you yeah. go on, I've heard. Very well. Let us redistribute the wealth. Let them eat grain. <laughs> mm, delicious grain cake. My legs. kingdom is looking absolutely fantastic, oh. I just want to say. Mm. Yeah, it's looking great for you. I'm feeling stable. I need to be more defiant. I'm Strong being and authoritative and I'm feeling rich. Mm. No, more defiance. More defiance. You are now looking mutinous in the yes. east. That's what we like to hear. Rebel. Trade is now monopoly. <laughs> Oh my god. Bad Peasants news. set up a marketplace on her land. It turned out to be a huge success with merchants blocking oh. the place and crowds. Look, see, look, the crab economy yeah. going is well. doing yeah. well. It's doing great. Right. Well. You trust the situation is resolved. Okay, well, Mian's looking quite strong now. Yeah. <laughs> it's doing pretty great over there, I have to say. <laughs> and last but not least. crabs were great oh, back Bounty guys, fraud. What's going on in the south? What's going on with us? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> your Majesty, recall your bounty on spider legs. There have been certain financial irregularities surrounding the initiative. Oops. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah. we, said, we said, you know, maths is boring. So. Though the spider problem has already been solved, we still got done the bounties being claimed every day. In fact, what? we owe the Adventurers <laughs> Guild <laughs> over yeah. 2,000 gold. 2,000 yeah, gold? That sounds about right. 20 feet. 2053 to be exact. Took the liberty of asking the spy master to investigate. Uh, that sounds right, I think. Uh, my spies in the guild tell me they're breeding giant <gasps> spiders in basements across the kingdom. Oh, They've even smart. bred a variety with extra legs. Oh my oh, god. That's sound. entrepreneurship, yeah. baby. This is <laughs> obviously against the spirit of the agreement. No. We didn't technically <laughs> forbid it. That's so mm. true. So we still owe them 20, 50 free gold, legally speaking. And you don't want our defiance to go out. That's this yeah. this doesn't sound like the Queen's problem. This sounds like the idiot lawyer who made this contract <laughs> problem. You. Okay, options include cancel the bounty scheme oh and God. pay the guild what they're owed, which yes. would cost us money, reduce our authority, reduce our stability, reduce farming, reduce everyone's um, trade. trade as well, and also reduce faith. Oh, great. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> we could cancel the bounty scheme and refuse to pay the guild anything, which would do everything apart from authority and gold. Don't that. That we that. mentioned before. We could pay off the guild and buy up their remaining spiders. That's fun. Mm. Will... Can you imagine the spiders? The spiders, Spider in, your... spiders in your palace. With along with the crabs. <laughs> oh, mate, you got to do it. So we have a 40% chance of arresting the prominent guild members mm. involved with the scheme. Interesting. Think about all those spiders. I am going to just veto this, because that's awful. But you want trade to go down. Yeah, but I don't well, want farming to go strong. down. That's true. 
I prefer we all arrest the prominent guild members, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to say... I think you should buy the spiders. I reckon yeah, you should cancel the bounty scheme well. and refuse to pay them. Buy yeah. those spiders. No, ba- buy the spiders. No. Buy Just, everyone. Buy I the do spiders. Think, I do think it would be funny to buy the spiders. Yeah, think how funny it is. <laughs> I'll, I'll point that spiders. out. I yeah. don't think it's necessarily a good option, but I think it's I, funny. It would be funny. It that's would be the, funny. The spiders and the crabs. I would love to have a spider army. I don't know if that's going to happen, I'm but we'll start the vote. As Paddy Roy says, spiders. Council have already lost, so we might as well watch the world burn. <laughs> Cancel the scheme and buy the spiders. Buy them. Think about the crabs and the spiders living I in the knew, palace. I knew that buying the spiders would win, what, regardless of what happened. So I'm yeah. losing even more money, and my authority's going down. should have married the spiders. This would have solved the problem. <laughs> Matt, uh, there's still a choice. <laughs> it I could gets be a, weird now. I could be in a weird polyamorous spider relationship. <laughs> Think about if the spiders... Oh, my God. 43 <laughs> votes. Think yeah, if the spiders and the crabs, like, mated. And made oh, spider crabs. Giant spider, spider, spider crabs. Spider crabs. Extra legs. Yeah. Imagine the amount of legs on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> this Too crab spider many. can fit so many legs. Too many. Voting is closed. Oh, look at your wealth go down. You pay off your debts and you even throw in an extra 250 gold so the guild oh. will hand over the reigning spiders rather than simply releasing them into the wild, which is... Oh, I didn't realize that would have been an option. <laughs> I'm that glad might have been that bad. That yeah. Been the, Yikes. Yeah, the uh, your nobles whisper that the queen is afraid Shut of the up. adventurous guild and is letting <laughs> them get away with blatant fraud. Shush. The next day, a very smug-looking adventurer pulls up outside your palace at the head of an enormous wagon train. Every single wagon is filled with scuttling cat-sized C- spiders. Only cat-sized? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're smaller than I thought. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they're just babies, but they'll grow. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from the mic. <laughs> I wanted that to be... The but they'll grow. <laughs> 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 it's just an episode. I too love like new metal. The Look, mic picks you up already. You see, you see this big line here that goes <laughs> up when you talk, and you see how every time you do it, it's going red at the top. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's end the season, I suppose. Oh, you spider! Yay! Good. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The coast... Oh, oh, it sorry. just doesn't load until it comes in. The coast economy has never been better. We're making more money than I know what to do with. Um, money beats money. I've made a series of investments to improve our profits even more. But what do we do with the rest of this gold? Well. Too much gold must be nice. Time to start buying things, of course. Land, roads, bridges. We'll buy the whole kingdom piece by piece. Yeah, buy it out from under him. But first, the queen must be in desperate need of our gold. Oh, good. They're going to drop my treasury. Yeah. 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 Just uh, just for everyone to wear, if either of my, any of my three stats go to zero, then I lose. Ooh. Yeah. To serve on the wear. Bleed it dry. <laughs> 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 Make a buy more crabs. Okay. Right. Good. Excellent. The counts I see are, see are still treading water. Look, we're just going to keep raising the yeah. spiders, man. We're just going to keep working together on them. The crab, crab bubble, bubble burst. burst. No, oh, Polly yeah. Spiders. <laughs> yeah, let's find out what's going <laughs> on. Why we need to find what out. on earth is happening? Uh, scholar. Uh, Maddie. Greetings, Your Majesty. I am the arachnico- rac- arachnicologist you sent arachnologist. for. Arachnologist. you sent for. It's a proper profession I made up. You recently received an unexpected gift, namely over a thousand baby spiders. Yes, and they're crawling all over my palace. <laughs> ah, delightful. No need to worry. They won't start preying on humans for at least another month. Okay, that's at some least. time then. Mm, Latin word. <laughs> Terrectus <laughs> magnum. <laughs> Colloquially known as the giant spider or the gigantuala, a fascinating specimen and with many practical uses. The gigantula. Gigantula. The gigantic tarantula. Gi- gigan- gi- gigantula. It's <laughs> oh, my no. job. Oh no. <laughs> well, milk them. You can raise them as livestock and milk yeah. them with a potent venom. All you can harvest their silk, which makes for fine sails and formidable armor. Interesting. Poison would be good. Last yeah, but not least, you, you can train them from birth to be ridden as mighty steeds. Spider army! How can resist a cavalry raven that comes into battle atop those almighty arachnids? 
Maddie, I feel like you're learning so many new words today. <laughs> I just, I've said it so many times, I can't read it <laughs> in a context that I'm not expecting, which is constantly all the time. <laughs> the possibilities are endless, but I beg you, don't kill them. No. It'd be such a waste. No, I'm not no. going to kill them. Oh, oh my gosh, so not kill great them. ideas. <laughs> Burn them. Mil Milk them milking them is very funny. <laughs> Let's just point that out. Milking them is Milk. hilarious. Right, we're but, obviously... ma but imagine riding them around. I'm not letting anyone kill my babies. Yeah, no, okay? they're your babies. Don't, don't let that happen. My I think you should ride them around. I think milking them is the funniest option. Milking them is pretty good. Yeah. Maybe harvesting them for the silk would also oh, be good. What you do they're all money. milk them, then ride them. I, I think training them as steeds is the most boring option. That's my personal opinion. No, because you get to ride them around. That's so cool. And all, obviously the crab bubble is about to burst. I want everyone to remember that. Mm. So, yes. so if you don't want to lose all of your money, let's invest in this economy, shall we? What we <laughs> should really do is swap money. the economy to no, spider venom. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> but then the treasury money goes up. Don't yeah, pick B or C. A, pick A, ride them around. Ride the giant <laughs> spiders around. Look, it doesn't That's matter how big you. the treasury money. is. It ride only carries around. a green one. <laughs> Don't help the greens by listening to me and Imagine how milk cool those I spiders. Milk them. No. Oh, milk them. Ma Maddie, what do you reckon? I, I reckon milk them. Milk them. Let's milk them. No. I want poison in ready supply. Yeah, I'm purely thinking for fun. <laughs> milk, them. Milk, 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 Go on! Yes! Purple and Imagine yellow! The giant We're not spider working army. together! Giant spider army! Oh my god! Oh, no. oh my god! Oh. Yes! Milk! Come on! Yes. Milk. Giant spider yes. army! Milk! Spider <laughs> milk! Oh my god! It's not milk! It's venom! Okay, milk. right. That's anything's it. milk if you try hard enough. It's like a spider cake. Purple and yellow, you're welcome. <laughs> that has halted me in for a bit, which is good. Milk yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. You convert the royal stables into a spider farm. This and is a horrible milk them place to live. Venom. That's not a great picture. I wouldn't drink out of any of those look, goblins. Then, <laughs> they're not crawling all over my castle. Look at, farming. Oh, and look at how good farming is. It's a formidable pesticide. It also has a calmative effect in microdoses, as mm. well as obvious military applications in macro, macro doses. doses. You can sell it by the bucket See, this is fantastic. Everyone wins. No, but they're you not happy. Apart from micro dosing <laughs> spider milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is a thing I'm, I'm interested I love, in. I love, sp oh I love spider milk micro dose gummies. <laughs> Angel Beat says, oh spider God. milk? What did I miss? <laughs> we milk some spiders. That, yeah, we just... Yeah, yeah you, go, you go for the... You find the teats. Yeah. You order your spy master to hoard as many bottles as she can. Soon everyone knows that the queen has unlimited access to a particularly deadly poison and they're much less likely to criticise you at dinner. Yes, I believe that's a good idea for my noble. I'm not sure I'd accept a dinner invitation from you at all. <laughs> I would well, I'm the queen, so you don't have a choice. You know what? <laughs> I'll just get deliver on the way home. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> You've got to find the spider Oh, cheese. you know, we're actually sending it out on spider house. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Ooh, yes. Oh, let's crabs. No. The crab crabs. bubble. Burst the crab bubble. Okay, let's burst crab bubble crab burst. Bubble. Oh, no. Yep, this goes exactly how I remember it, Maddie. <laughs> Bad news, your majesty. A new reef has been discovered, which is overflowing with millions of jeweled crabs. Crab prices are crashing. Catastrophic. Catastrophically. <laughs> what? <laughs> the entire kingdom will suffer financially, you must see, with the exception of a few patricians. Of course. Curiously, L Lady Patrician Yuki, the very same patrician who first began the crab craze, recently <sighs> sold all of her crabs at a huge indeed. profit. Just days before the Inside crash. a trading. Inside a crabbing. Oh, you can't believe no. it. The, the rich would get richer. <laughs> Something <laughs> must be done. <laughs> You summon your council to discuss the crab price crisis. Many assembled nobles have invested heavily in the crab market and they are casting furious glances to the patricians' benches. You do have a lot of poison now. I do. That's fine. Poison all the crabs. crabs. So we have three <laughs> yeah. options. We could bail out the failed businesses along the coast. Yeah, that sounds like a fantastic idea. Which, again, would drop the treasury and further help the Greens. That's an excellent wow. idea. It would increase trade and drop defiance, which would Boo. not help purple and yellow. Right. Just, for, just bear in mind how this works. We want defiance up. We could let the coast suffer the full consequences of this crisis, which would good. drop trade, improve defiance, and drop stability. 
or we could arrest Lady Patricia Newton yeah. and confiscate that her ill like gold. That sounds like an excellent idea. Arrest. It arrest. drops trade, it increases defiance, it lowers stability, and it uh, increases the treasury oh, no, and that's increases a, that's the a terrible wealth idea. of, I assume, Lady Patricia Newton. That's a terrible idea. Terrible idea. Don't do the that. The monarch's arrest. iron choice is to arrest Lady Patricia no. Newton. Let no. the voting commence. No. Be awesome. Hey, vote for A. Throw her like, in see. jail. See. Hey. All right, we've just got to we've got to we've no, got to get together. You're, you're yeah. giving yeah. them more Let's money. Stop. Counts. The treasury is that's, already that's quite full. Together. Be summoned. No. Put her in the dungeon. Arrest. No. Ill-gotten gold. Arrest Think the about Tories. All the there is Overthrow no crime the monarchy. worse There's than There's no fraud. downside. No. <laughs> Possession is nine tenths of the law. Exactly. And she possesses no crimes. Excellent. Terrible. Yes. Yes, I'll have some authority, thank you. You're helping the the queen. You're helping. But you lost we stability. We want defiance to go up. Yeah. Yeah, Trade defiance is, is now, excellent. Defiance yes. is now good yeah. for the grandees. Yes. Still got on crab gold. Yes. Trial so will be held as soon as possible. Stability. Lady Patricia and Yuki's wealth has decreased. I'm sorry, I was reading all the things at the bottom. I was just excited to see what was going on. Look at how wealthy I am, though. Yeah. <laughs> how, I'm, how did you I'm shocked. Well, but... I'm shocked that stability is this well off, yeah. considering yeah, all of the nonsense that's going on. Crabs, spiders. Outrage <laughs> Patricians, protest that your actions are illegal and illegal. make a mockery of the law. It's a mockery Don't of the law. Know you're the queen. I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> Authoritarianism, this is what you're allowing. Yeah, it's, it's feudalism, man. Yeah. What do you expect? An irksome legacy. Oh, It's oh all dear. kicking off on the coast. Oh, the High Inquisitor, Matthew Jarvis. Your Majesty, <laughs> about the treasures of the late Lady Patrician Demetria, I heard there was a necklace of rubies among them. Ooh. Interesting. Where is the necklace now? This is of the utmost importance. Uh, I really have no idea. <laughs> yes, the peasants no, probably have it. Well, the High Inquisitor shakes her head pityingly. A, f oh. a frail monk in the 7th century wrote of a ruby necklace that drove those around it <gasps> to sin. Oh, oh no, not sin. I believe the late Lady Patrician Demetria had it in her collection. After all this time, it may have surfaced. <gasps> this proof seems flimsy. The High Inquisitor draws herself up to her full height and fixes you with a steel glare. You doubt the word of a 7th century monk who was known for his wisdom? That's that depends. So what century is it now? <laughs> <laughs> the necklace should be destroyed. It could be tested. But the holy reagents will be expensive. Oh, oh well, God, you know. It's, you it's... call the council to discuss the situation. If it's expensive, it's expensive. I knew all along the estate was a bad idea. Yes, as did I. <laughs> a bad business, that's what I always I said. never wanted it in the first place. <laughs> Such a shame that your serene highness fell foul of this evil magic. Okay. Ooh. So, if the we hand it over to the Inquisition, there's a 30% chance of success. If we ignore the High Inquisitor's concerns, there's a 50% chance mm. of success. But if we have the necklace tested for unholy influences, I will lose 500 gold and our stability will go up. Have it tested. I think have it tested is quite fun. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with this little necklace. Why not? You lose a bit of yeah, treasury. I kind of want to know what's going on with the necklace. I don't honestly. love the increased stability, but I, I'm hoping it unleashes some kind of demon spawn. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Big fan <laughs> of Only that. one way to find yeah. out, Matt. <laughs> That's how I feel that. when I look at yeah. any necklace. That's why I can't go in Claire's. <laughs> There's enough <laughs> demons born in Claire's as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Angsty 13 year olds buying oh, okay. nose piercings. Okay, well, I think I'm pretty retarded. I think we know what's, what's going well, on there's here. There's still a few seconds left, it oh. could. Could change something. <laughs> of Raven Shadow says, in. test it. After all, we believe in due process. We do so in this kingdom. True. Due, due process. process. Very we love alchemy. Alchemy's for the boys now. It so. is. The boys, the boys are taking up alchemy. Yeah. Yeah. We're transmuting metals. <laughs> yeah, so the boys are here. The peasants reluctantly bring the necklace to the capital and the High Inquisitor takes it away in a leaden box. Excellent. Lead is very good for you. Yeah, so good. Rub your hands all over that. She returns <laughs> after a few days with an implacable expression. Implacable? Implacable. We had to destroy the necklace as it was irrevocably tainted and hosted numerous dark spirits. Despite the High Inquisitor's gloomy appearance, when word gets around about what happened, most of the coastal peasants agree that it's better to be safe than sorry. Boo. Thank you, coastal peasants. I'm sure Boo. you all like me so much because of the Boo. wealth I redistributed. 
bad times. Well, I think right. I'm doing very well. You are doing well. <laughs> oh, I look, think... it's summer 966, yeah. which means it's the 10th century. Yeah. So it's three centuries ago that that monk was writing about it. Oh, uh, yeah. You know? Yeah, very I think like things have changed. That's like the 1980s. Okay, what have we got here? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not really fussed by any of this. I'm guessing prison and theatre is what people want, because I'm looking very authoritative and stable. We want yeah, farming to go a down a bit, generally. Yeah. That's what the count. That's what the the queen wants. Yeah, deer park. Why not? Deer park yeah. is pretty fun. The sort of, the deer sort of park top right angle. Theatre could be fun as well. Either of those are fun, honestly. Well, yeah. I think the patricians are are in charge of this one because they are looking very yeah, wealthy down. right now. Mm. Start voting, patricians. Stop just stop hoarding all your gold. <laughs> that's what Get Tories that do. <laughs> Get that deer park going. Deer Park, Deer Park, they want stability oh, wow. down. Prisons. Yeah, stability oh, yeah, down okay. is also good. Stability down is, that doesn't Yes, sense. build a new prison so that I might throw you all in it. <laughs> We're going to put you in the prison. No. Just like, <laughs> <"Get to me!" laughs> Yeah, well, you were a crook, to be fair. So. That's not true, and you personally know that. Uh, Blink uh, Buddy says, I have a bunch of money, I think. What do I do with it? Well, now is your chance to... Yeah, yeah. hit the pledge button. Start, start voting. The deer park. Start voting. Get the deer park going. Currently, deer the park. prison deer park. and the deer park yeah. is winning, although it's it's close with the theatre. All right. Remember, it's only going to drop the farming of the uh, the count to the deer park. It's not going to drop the, the farming for everyone. We don't need farming. But just, like, farming generally down is great, you know? Yeah. Deer park and theatre is pretty I'm, fun. I'm fine with the deer park because the theatre and the and the prison affect all yeah, stability yeah. and authority, you yeah. know? Whereas deer park only affects one farming. So that's that's fine wow. by me. And Still 7-7. Seven, seven. hang out with the, with the deers. <gasps> <gasps> like, oh, oh my god. Baby. Spider baby. It's my egg. Oh my god, it's your egg. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. Yes, I believe so. You need an heir. I do. <laughs> you need someone young, whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard, or the youngest of your many cousins. <laughs> I'm not going to pick it, but I'm pretty sure I have a bastard child lying around <laughs> somewhere. It's yeah. very funny. My wife and I will have a child together. Yes. Uh, the traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling oh. so you can um, oh. get down to business. Oh, well, I don't know about a month. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want everyone else to well, chat for a month. <laughs> okay, what do we think? Hoardling attack think, or witch oh, hunt? Think about how witch romantic hunt. it's going to be with all those spiders going <laughs> around. They're, they're, being, they're off being milked now. so we can... <laughs> They're in the stables, in the spider stables. Darling, are you into poison play? <laughs> 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 My spider foreplay. Uh, let's find out what the witch hunts yeah, up to. Yeah, that sounds like it could be bad. Mm, I've gathered some reports in the south. The grandees are among the regions scheming against you. Scheming? I just don't think that's, that's true. That's not very holy of them. I just don't think that's true. <laughs> On the contrary, they believe it's their divine duty. That's true. Of course they I do. They're smearing you. For gods. They're smearing <laughs> you as impious. Impious? Impious? Impious. 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 <laughs> and holy queen, they have inquisitors digging up evidence as we speak. Yeah, I probably should go to church more. Really should. It's it's just you're spending point. a whole month bonking. <laughs> bonking, yeah. You could be the holiest saint in the kingdom, and I'd find an excuse to call you a sinner. Yeah, that's very but true. But also, you're not a holy saint. You are a sinner. So. I suggest you strengthen your relationship with the other regions. You want them on your side once the grandees increase the pressure. <gasps> yeah. Hmm. Sadly, your popularity with the nobles leaves something to be desired. That's, yes. that's a fair comment. <laughs> they are likely working with the Inquisitors already, providing them with damning information. <laughs> Must move to stop this. Okay, no, interesting. I think it's fine. I don't, I don't know why everyone else gets to vote on this, but <laughs> <laughs> we can restrict fine. the Inquisitors' power throughout the kingdoms. It will decrease faith, decrease defiance, and decrease stability. We could bury the Inquisitors under a mountain of false accusations, which would delay the scheme no. of the yellow team for one season. We shouldn't do that. Green and purple. Green and or purple. Or we can leave the investigators to their business. We should just leave them. Uh, to their yeah. Oh, I think we should veto that option. Oh, come on now. And I think we should bury the investigators and under a mountain of false accusations. We definitely shouldn't do that. Absolutely I think that's what we should not. do. We definitely, we definitely don't do that. Honestly, A or B, I'm happy. So uh, you crack on, folks. Boring. Yeah, I'm going to go with A, actually. It yeah. doesn't help the other players. Let's bring some stability yeah. down. I'm not loving to see Defiance go down, but... 
A. What are you going to do? Huh? You know, what are you oh, going to do? Oh, what are you going to do? Hey, yo, I'm going to buy it. It's a bicycle, you know. I'm trying to be a queen over here. Yeah. <laughs> My royal decree is I would like a delicious hoagie. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to milk a spider over oh. here. <laughs> what am I, the cat's mother? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Stability is down to five. Oh, my the God. The crown prohibits the Inquisition from entering the palace grounds or noble estates without a royally sealed warrant. I think that's only fair, to be honest. Yeah, I guess. And look, Defiance is down with the coast in the east. They're looking a bit happier. Defiance is still... We still... That one yeah, off, the yellows are still okay. The nobles are pleased. The church isn't thrilled, and neither are the peasants. Woo! Full hardy minstrels and zealous <laughs> priests use the decree as proof of the nobility's goodness. Peasants, Gold do you goodness. not remember all the fantastic things I've done to Godliness. you? Godliness. I've, I've brought in spider economy. I've redistributed spider wealth. Economy. I got After rid of a horrible cursed trinket. I didn't. There was that was them. <laughs> you said you just left it. It was the patricians. Yeah. And, and besides, that and you're was up a patrician to patrician queen. That was up to them lot, anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was them lot. Time for the hordling attack. Oh, dear. Your Highness, I'm ruined. Hordlings have occupied my vineyard and driven my staff away. Uh, we've had this one before in the, in the last session, didn't we? Oh, yeah. What is a hordling again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Grubby little fat creatures like fat green babies with claws. Hard to kill. Fire's the only way to get rid of them permanently. Hmm. Whatever you do, you should do it soon. They're eating all of my grapes. <laughs> uh, can't your fellow grandees help out? My flight is of no interest to them. None of them actually like grapes. Um, mm. <laughs> no. Mm. I think you should assemble the council. I'll assemble the council. Ninth, bless you, your highness. I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Burn okay. it! Burn it all! No, actually, yeah, hire an adventurer from the guild oh. to investigate. <laughs> hire that adventurer. Hire. Oh, I, I'm, I can hire an adventurer. Yeah, do it. If that's what the yellows would like. I think it's an excellent we've got money, idea. To, we've got money to spare. Certainly help you. You need to get it down to what? Mm. I like, actually can't still, remember. Still five, uh, 1,500. Uh, you might be able to, oh, 1,500, yeah. Okay. yeah still we got, got, we got go. plenty of room. we got plenty of room. <laughs> Look, we should just burn we, it. We slowly I feel like I get... I get the uh, sense that people are gonna want to burn it, <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna gamble on that. Hire an adventurer. Everyone. Strong arm. Hire. It's a strong arm because it raises Hire defiance. Hire that adventurer. It does raise defiance. It only gives a tiny bit of wealth. I can't Hire. believe fire isn't more popular. I thought this chat would love Hire fire. Hire the adventurer. Yeah. B. Go and B. We need more defiance. No. Okay, I should have picked Hire. B. Oh. I should have picked B. Of Biff this You're letting the yeah, monarchy run all over yeah, us. Yeah, we don't want the, the monarch to do what the monarch wants. I'm the queen. I get to do whatever I want. That's this is why we need to be more we defiant. Don't want. <laughs> whatever you want, we have to not want. You know. No, I don't think that's. that's, that's how I don't goes. think that's true. That's, that's how it goes. Very well. All right. I think we've all strong arm. Yeah. Look, so all we care about is defiance. Oh, it's only the yellow defiance that went up. Yeah. Go all right, on. that's good for the counts. When the grandees grudgingly send in their token force, a slaughter ensues. The hordlings put up a meagre fight before scurrying into the hills. We did it. Peculiar, peculiar. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry for making the you the narrator. grandees discover <laughs> that the hordlings filled grandee Tazley's wine cellar with spoons. So many that it's almost impossible to move down there. Okay, I don't know what that means. It will take some time before the vineyard is back up to full production, but grandee Tazles is grateful for the help. Tazles, you're welcome. Good day for you, man. Let's end that season, <laughs> shall we? All those spoons you have as well. Now I feel like that could come in handy. Yeah, I get the feeling that the the, the Deep south are all in the fine. south, in the back garden of a sun-bleached villa, a number of grandees crowd around a figure, raising their arms and a toast. Here's to the future king Katano and the golden age on the horizon. It has already begun. Merchants and peasants alike know we're the best option for a safe and bright future. Ooh. I don't know about that one. <laughs> May the ninth god strike down the false queen for her wickedness. I def I, not that one. She's so <laughs> wicked. 
Soon the Inquisition will be complete and the Archbishop will be up will crown our claimant. But what should be done with the queen? Mmm. <gasps> Burner at the stake! Burner! Yes. Yeah. Burner at the stake! <laughs> yeah, Burner that's coming, isn't it? <laughs> that's She's going. She's wicked oh and evil! <laughs> Her wickedness must be purged from the world! <laughs> she will only sin if we show her mercy. How many grandees do you have? <laughs> Enough Too many. to burn you at the stake. This is ridiculous. Let me have a look at this noble list. Okay. Oh. I feel like there's a lot of grandees, personally. Mm. But was eh, there's no counts. So I'm not sure. I think grandees just I, making I'm good sure decisions. I'm sure the game has balanced it. I'm just sure it's making fine. good decisions. Voting is closed. We're doing it, grandees. We're going to burn her at the stake. A glorious way, a glorious way to usher in the new king. The ninth god will surely be pleased. I don't know if any god would be pleased with murder. Personally. First, oh, really? the current <laughs> queen's grip on the kingdom must be at an all-time low. We wouldn't want to face any backlash from our little fireworks show, would we? No, no, no. For the final stage of their scheme, the grandees must lower oh. stability to three or less. That's pretty close. Now, so far off, guys. purple and green, let's just all remember that we don't want that ability to go down because then we they'll win. Want to yeah. burn Look, Kels, I don't think we we're going to win at this point, so no. let's just burn the queen stay. at the no, stake. No, support me! Support me! You're Tories, no. <laughs> what do you mean you're Tories? What have you got to offer? You put thousands out of business. For your crabs. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting on a bench on a, outside of some bleach villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The th oh, oh god, loads, <laughs> loads before I'm ready. <laughs> the thrice cursed queen is still refusing to sell us any public land. Yeah, well, it's public. Makes sense. <laughs> the treasury is flush with coin right now. Patience, my friend. Let's bide our time until the queen's gold runs out. Yeah, I know. Pain. We're never going to get there because these two are going to work directly against us. So, <laughs> <laughs> All I'm working for now is to lower stability. Right. Well, we're going to tax the grandies. No. No. Nobody taxes Ooh, the me. The patricians' fisheries net 500 wealth this quarter. Ooh. Good for the Look how wealthy the patricians Damn. are still. We need to burn mm. that. You know, we don't need to be wealthy. We just need you. Crab trial. Oh, oh, the crab, crab trial. trial. Plague ship. Oh no. Yeah. A clairvoyant Have visit. visit. Oh. Mm. oh. Your Majesty, Your Highness, Conte Z has been having <laughs> prophetic <laughs> dreams. That checks out. Ah, Conte Z. It is true. I can part the veil betwixt now and some ways off. Give me a prophecy then. I look to the future and it speaks through me. No more, no less. For one thing, Count Joseph should beware of onion soup. <gasps> <coughs> <laughs> uh, it's really bad on my throat. And the color, the color green shall bring bad fortune to Conte Jung. But that's my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> Please, your highness, have them foretell the future for the council. We could gain insight into great mysteries. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> A 50 50. Don't care either way. Ooh. Actually, just don't mm. do B. I think we should throw. Mm. I think we should make. Stability yeah. 30%. A. Just sure do A. B is bad. Yeah. <laughs> no! Go for C. And a, yeah. yeah. Make Go Matt an C. official advisor. He's not it's doing not anything me, else. It's yeah, Conti Z. <laughs> yeah, more farming. That's fine. Oh. Also, more defiance. I'm going to do A. Do A, Come on. Put a. them on the council. This is the perfect Challenge. way to have someone in the room. Let's go A. If we can't do B, <laughs> let's do A, you know? Come on, C. A. Come, Come on, on everyone. C. A. I want the vision. Also, it puts I don't actually know where this one's going to go. This is interesting. Let's see the visions. But it's Come only on, a 50% chance. Oh, he's, he's but it could lower vote. stability if we, if we bring them in and the visions are terrible and the queen fails. You know, that's what we want. Okay. No Welcome to the council, Count Z. Voting is closed. That was pretty fun still. Wonderful news, your majesty. I'm certain they will not disappoint. <laughs> sure enough, Count Z yeah. has a canny side of what's best for the east. Farming is looking terrific, no. everyone. 
Good job. You're helping. No. You're helping the queen. Uh oh. But other nobles start to mutter yes. this. Seeing the unseen is no more than a disguise. Counts, we've finally. Uh, we've Matt, you're back in the game. Woo, We're back in the game. Can the queen really be trusted with a charlatan constantly whispering in her ear? Well, email? okay, all right. Let's all calm down on that one. How dare you? I'm very authoritative. <laughs> Okay. It's crap time. It's crap, crap time. Trial. Let's figure out this trial, shall we? <laughs> After months of delay, Lady Patricia Newkey is finally due to stand trial for her crab-related <laughs> market manipulation. You stand accused of perpetuating fraud and tricking hundreds into buying expensive crabs. How do you plead? I'm guilty of only making money, so I broke a few laws on the way. Is that a crime? Yeah, yeah, literally. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes obviously. <laughs> I pronounce you guilty as charged, and your fate will be decided by the Queen. Mm. Well, civility's already a mess, so. <laughs> uh, imprison the guilty party. Lady Patricia Nuki is dragged away in chains, wailing for clemency. Most of the waiting nobles agree that justice has been done, except the Patricians, of course. There, yeah, my crabs. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. Please, your majesty, Yuki has young children who are supposed to pay for the upkeep of her villa. Maybe Not my problem. Yep. Downsize <laughs> from a villa. Now, why is there a plague ship in the yeah, middle of the continent? Not great. That's a river. Oh, Shall is that? Yeah. 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 The Royal Navy has stopped a ship in the harbour at Thalassus, Your Majesty. It's a merchant vessel from Denea, and the crew have come down with some sort of plague. Well, that doesn't sound good. The captain refuses to go home, saying his crew need food and medical attention before floating any cargo. I don't think we want cargo from a plague ship. <laughs> the that cargo ship is, is carrying fine silks and rare dyes worth thousands. I don't care what happens to the crew. We need to secure those goods. I, don't, I don't think that's a good idea, oh, Kevin. <laughs> tell, tell me more about this plague. The infected have high fevers, oozing, pustules, uncontrollable vomiting. Sounds like creeping scourge. We bumped off half the kingdom a few centuries ago. Oh God, Ooh. let's call for a boat, shall we? Sink the ship. No. <laughs> I allow them to dock and offload That's the goods. That's terrible. Like, you all want to die. We should quarantine the ship <laughs> and toss the goods into the sea. I think the gods will protect us. I think we should just uh. allow the ship to the dock and offload. I think we should quarantine it and toss everything into the sea. No. Because it stings the rich and it also helps us. We want to lower stability. So we allow the ship off. No, we don't want A. Maddie, Dreams, do you really want to get a. a plague just so that you can get a th the throne? I'll, I'll <laughs> do it if I can best in kingdom, but it'll be mine. <laughs> it'll be mine, God damn it. Uh, yes, I, I want the plague. We should, yeah, let's sink the ship. If you're gonna sink the ship, yeah. well, let's let's purples. Let's throw in with the greens. Yeah, yeah purple and green. Ship. You need to work together. To yeah, stop let's go these on yellows. D. This is so rude. It benefits us Come both. On. We want. Look, it's just a fun. Look, I'll even back you up. Monarch's it's a, choice. Just a fun little plague. Yeah. Yeah. Sink that ship and all plague. aboard. Just a fun little. Come on. Like, fun little <laughs> plague. It could be. Wait, you don't like a plague? <laughs> Yo, just with, a couple of a pustules. Just a plague. You know? <laughs> we got a couple of pustules over here. There's a postal, postal here, one there. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, the south of New York. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. We well, can handle that. Into the sea with you. Come on. In yar. Into the sea with you. Into the sea with you. Why do I get the feeling that the greens are going to be a bit grieved with this? <sighs> Boo. The greens voted for it. Your warships fire the ba ba what was it? Ballast Bas Ballastay. 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 Your warships fire the ballast at the merchant vessel, smashing enormous holes in its hull. It sinks into the depths without a trace. Or is it just ballista? But that's the plural. Oh, I don't know. Ballista. Ballista. I think so. Ballista. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know if you also. I think call it's it the, plur ballista. the plural ballista. All right. Ballistas. Okay. Many ballistas. Look how authoritative I am. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We got it. We got to get that ability so down. Good. God, the patricians are very defiant right uh, now. Well, thanks to our efforts, the spy masters focusing on the region. And while the cat's away, the most will play. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and when the cat returns, he will find the mice have poisoned its kibble. Oh, I, <laughs> oh, I love the cat return. <laughs> oh my God, it's Count Jack. Oh my God. 
The analogy is a little tortured now, but I like the enthusiasm. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. They're oh, both this is good uh, with the frog. This is uh, the High Inquisitor's <laughs> husband. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, the honor guard are incorruptible, but the ones are another story. If the queen can't pay them, they'll look for money elsewhere. <laughs> for the next ah, stage, hey. oh, okay. oh dear. Oh, we got a lot of work to do. It's 1, We're both trying to do the oh, same thing. Okay. It's green and purple versus oh, yellow now. No. Green and purple, green and purple. <laughs> you know what it is. Right, on, okay. Young, you got to do it. Get that stability down. Gold. Choices. 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 There's a I'm going to get rid of the monarch's choice and adopt uh, the golden choice, mm. which means that if you pick my my option, you'll be personally rewarded with gold. That is good. Wow, bribery. No. We care about the stability. It's called political incentives. <laughs> a spot of heresy. Mm. You fill out this survey. You get a fifty cousin. pound Amazon voucher. Spot of heresy. Your distant. Co- Ooh. Oh, 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 the horde strikes back. Horde strikes oh, back. Oh, that's oh. my favourite Star Wars. <laughs> I was going to make that joke as well. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't have a favourite Star Wars film. <laughs> Your Holiness. Your Holiness, the Hordlings, they've returned. Oh, no. Mm. Uh, the soldiers we sent only got rid of them temporarily. They've taken over my vineyard again. Those little bastards are impossible to kill. They're back for their spoons. <laughs> Those are my spoons now. Oh. Never mind that, your holiness must act quickly to alleviate the spoon so- shortage in the <laughs> south. Oh, no. Spoons are disappearing all across the kingdom or the region or whatever it is you we're in. I'm sorry, spoons? Yeah, it's no laughing matter, your majesty. If you ever try to eat spoon with a fork, it's soup with a fork is simply impossible and all we eat is soup. We're starving. <sighs> You've got to be joking. Deal with this yourselves. <laughs> Both Whoa! Oh, and Grandy Maxine are taken aback by your palace that's disregard curious. for the South. Yeah, well, that's what you get for trying to overthrow my You're kingdom. You're not careful. They're going to rebel. I'm authoritative, <laughs> so you can't do anything about it. All right. Uh, but I do apparently have a distant cousin over there, oh, so let's, uh, I'm gonna rebel. let's get them out. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to rebel soon, Grandies. Uh, your Majesty have a matter of some delicacy to speak to you about. <laughs> oh my god, it's Monona! <laughs> uh, good day, cousin. How's the whole kingdom going, eh? I always thought it looked like a lot of work, but I suppose you get a fancy hat. Uh, Lord uh, Fitzalbert is your very, very distant cousin, about 15th in line to the throne. You haven't seen him in years. Oh, cousin, why are you dressed like that? Quite the dashing figure, aren't I? I had to borrow a few bits from Grandy Eleanor Smith after a donkey chew through me coat. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this actually is what I know. Um, Lord Fitzalbert's been staying at my estate for the last year, Your Holiness, but alas, there have been some um, financial impacts. Oh, He's yeah. been drinking. He's been borrowing money from me for months, saying he'll pay me back when his luck turns, but my coffers are now bare. Cool. Well, I mean, he's, he's he can pay for himself. Uh... Yeah, yeah, poor Eleanor Smith couldn't even afford a little banquet to see me off, rude. <laughs> Very rude. Uh, I'm sorry it's come to this, but I must petition the court for funds, Your Holiness. My, your holy, I, I think my little highness. Is oh, I d- damn really Pay <laughs> Grandy <laughs> Eleanor yeah. Smith for her hospitality. Pay, pay. I mean, I, mean, I could just veto it. And uh, it benefits you guys as well. Yeah, but as people are putting it out in the chat, if we complete that, don't you win? Because it's your last goal. How do we yeah. do? How do we do a revolt? How do we overthrow you, my monarch? Once you defiance need your defiance to be higher than my authority. Yeah. Oh, and then the nobles will be seven. able to vote for it. So I'm thinking oh. B, so we can we can get. Yeah, it's gonna get a. I'm up for B. But the bear in mind, a greens. If a. Bear in mind, this is the defiance of the yellows, which means the yellows have get to it. Yeah, but we're a long way off. In some ways, I'd rather just someone Let's throws you out. Rebel. I think B. What, what I mean, have I done? What have I done to you? Come you, on. You're rich. Look, is this what you want? Is this what you want? They're, they're, they're zealots. They're religious zealots. Our god is fun. Yeah. And they like know, vampires. Oranges, so. apples. Yeah. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Hey, do I. Hey, everyone. Well, I see. You do what you want. I don't mind. Hey. <laughs> Let's get some defiance mm-hmm. down. Oh, it's what everyone, A. Hey. It's looking like an A. Do it an A. Let's put it up in the palace. It's fine, we've got money to spare. Let's do put it up in the do palace. Do it an A. Do it an A. To be do fair, it. both of them dropped do defiance. It so we might as well a. hurt the treasury a little bit yeah. on the way. I just think it'd be fun to hang out in the palace for Lord 
Fitzalbert. Yeah, no? Fitzalbert. <laughs> Fitzalbert is a great name. Yeah, it is a great Fitzalbert's name. Fitzalbert's been doing some good work. Come on. Either you pay a bit of money or someone rebels, we all says Baddy Wrong Legs. Veto it and we vote for rebellion. Yes! (laughs) No, it's been vetoed, sorry. Then we vote for rebellion. Need I remind you how powerful and authoritative I am? Not for long. All right, the treasurer. I was sorry, I was checking. I was checking the defiance of the grandees. I'm also trying to play. Okay, I'm so sorry for trying to play for a second. The treasurer arranges a discreet payment for Grandy Eleanor Smith. Why mm-hmm. gets around the South about your generosity, not least because Lord Fitzalbert is eager to reclaim it wherever he can. Oh. Interesting. You're not sure where your cousin will land next. You can only hope it's somewhere far away. Somewhere where I'm not financially responsible <laughs> for him. <laughs> okay. All right. Last but not least. Just a spot of heresy. <laughs> Just, Just a, a spot. spot. Mm. Just a little, Just a little a touch. Mm. A sprinkling of heresy. Your grace, I'm stunned, outraged, and incensed. I have been summoned to trial by the Inquisition on some nonsense fabricated charge. Well, that sounds terrible, Kirsty. They're claiming I'm part of a cult because of the very peculiar design of my crest and how, and how I have exactly ten people at every meal and the strange noises from hidden chambers. It's ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous, Countess Kirsty. Sound ridiculous. No one dares defend me on their own. They're too scared of the High Inquisitor. No, well, she does sound the like this piggy. The trial is set, but the council must intervene, Your Grace. Though she remains silent, the council is cleanly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. Mm. Okay. It's a lot of percentage oh, chances yeah. here. Mm. Oh, stability 50-50. Pray. Oh, no, it's pray for a good outcome. Yeah, pray. <laughs> pray for a good outcome. Pray. pray for a good outcome. Pray, pray, pray for it, yeah. I do a bit of praying. So does, we don't... Like what we does challenge mean? Yeah. I think, I guess challenge is literally just, I don't know, let's just let's just hope. Mm. And I then the, the other two mm. actually test a stat. Oh, stability could go either way, and that's very Yeah, it's a 50-50. Ooh. I'm thinking challenge. I'm, yeah. I'm willing to throw caution Let's to the wind and just it. see what happens. Challenge could, could be could be good. Tell you what. Monarch's iron choice. Let's suggest that she pray for a good um, outcome. Mm. Mm. Pray. Oh. But I'm pray. happy for A. Pray, let's, everyone. Let's, let's go to stability. Let's see. Let's, let's gamble on this one. Mm. Let's give us... Pray. 50, pray. 50. Little 50, 50. Pray, oh. everyone. Pray. Pray. Counts. Pray. Ooh. Counts. You know you want to Such pray. Witness. Yeah. Okay. 50, 50. Literally yes, cost, on. tossing oh, a coin. Come on. Come on, come on Counts. Oh. Pray. Oh, my God. Oh. Pray, Counts. Pray. <laughs> we want to search. We want to uh, search. Close. Oh. Okay. It's a Good literal luck. coin toss. Here we go. Voting is closed. Oh. Let's search for a witness. Oh. Yay! Distribute a procla- proclamation amongst the counts asking for witnesses of Kirsty's innocence. Damn it! Count Matt! Oh my god, it's me! Forward, claiming to have known Kirsty since childhood and that her devotion to the ninth god is second to none. Well, we tried. The High Inquisitor finds little solid evidence that could work against such an enthusiastic testimony. Reluctantly, she drops the charges and pays compensation to Kirsty, who sends you a small gift. No! Oh, oh everything's Welcome looking to. fantastic, everyone. Oh, We're so looking bad. stable. We're looking full of money. Bad news. I just and want to get defiant and rebel Farming's now. at an all-time high. What an excellent kingdom I rule over. Mmm. I just need a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. probably going to be next, right? Baby oh, so gone. green won't win. Oh, yeah, because there's one last. Yeah, so okay. you two you two should try yeah. and get the treasury together. Your heir! <gasps> Come on. Your heir! Oh, go away, cousin. Oh, your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> your quest for an heir is finally oh, complete. No. You stand before the council holding a small baby Hello. egg child in your arms. My egg. It's a quest. Should yeah. I die, yeah. I ask that my crown be passed down the to... The spiders. The council hall is filled with nervous silence. Oh. My non-binary child. The assembled nobles break into polite, apl- polite applause by des- designating, designating <laughs> an heir. You've cemented the stability of your kingdom. 
Oh, yes. We're looking so oh, stable. Yes. Your Majesty, may I be uh... the first to congratulate you on the birth of your child? <laughs> what is their name? Harona II, of course. No. How exquisite, Your Majesty. I'm sure little Harona II will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Yes, I believe Why so. Why is everyone Kermit in your lab? <laughs> It's just like from so the you, area. like from North or Devon in your <laughs> land. <laughs> okay, we've either got the songstress or my enterprising mm. cousin. Cousin. Yeah, let's find the out what this back. is. What up to? The hey, so man, good. it's me. Your distant cousin, Lord Fitzalbert, races into the room while you're enjoying your breakfast. I'm eating a Miller Corner, Lord They weren't away very long. <laughs> They swear by the ninth god, there's no. gold underground! Slow down, Fitzalbert. Alright, alright, so I had some luck in gambling in a gambling establishment in the south, and Grandy Eleanor Smith introduced me to a consortium of prospects selling land. This isn't sounding good, Fitzalbert, I'll be honest. They're sure there's gold beneath the earth, and they just need, like, the tiniest little investment to dig it out. Of course I bought it. It was an absolute bargain. I, how do I execute this man? <laughs> I wonder if the council would like to get involved in this really cool enterprising opportunity. Why are you asking the council and not Invest me? Invest in the project, everyone. No, no. Invest <laughs> in the project. Have the treasury confiscate the land. Right. The this land. is clearly a confidence trick. Yeah, confiscate the land. Leave him for nonsense. Confiscate the land. See confiscate everyone. Land. See. Let's take the land. Count. Let's take the land. <laughs> Count. See. It's our land. We can dig, dig for gold. Matt, please, dig please, no. Gold. Matt, are you see what's happening? Dig for gold. Yeah. They're helping Maddie. Only a few, though. Let okay. You Only ten. Ten. There's, there's stability to spare. To be fair. We want to dig for gold. You need to lead your count, my job. Like <laughs> look, not look you've got, you've got you three people you want to obey. I'm no dictator. Yeah. Look, we have, I am. <laughs> <laughs> we have a flat organisational structure in the count. <laughs> Horizontal management. <laughs> yeah. No wonder you're losing. Uh, Sarah's pointed out that Grandy Sarah is Sarah. So I keep giving her a cut with the frog. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I imagine she speaks now. Soon everyone in the South knows that you're unwilling to donate funds for your cousin's project, but at least the treasury is safe from Lord Fitzalbert's grasp. Yes, too right. Good Lord. All right, who's this songstress then? Mmm, mysterious. It sounds oh, very sexy. Rip and loop. Um, Your Majesty, a bard who calls herself the songstress has been making waves in the South. Okay. Oh, she does look very cool. Her performances are attracting huge crowds. So huge, there have been brawls and stampedes as people push closer to the stage. Interesting. There have been no deaths yet, but it's only a matter of time. With every concert, the riots get worse. What can we do to nip this in the bud? That kind of sounds sick. I don't know why we would be sad about this. So we could ban her performing to reduce defiance. We can ensure that her shows have adequate security, which would reduce military. We can invite her to the palace for a private show, which increases mm. balance. Or this is not a matter for the council's death. I just don't think it's a matter for the council. I think we should just like let everything just play out as it should go. I think just, we like, should invite her to, to the palace for a course. private show. Just let her like go off and do her thing. I just think it's fine. I'd quite like a private yeah, show. Yeah, she's quite cool. <laughs> I think a private show sounds good. I mean, we could also have a private show. I mean, that invite would be, her. That'd be so yes. terrible if defiance is going up and then. Like Remember purple oh, and green, don't good. let the yellows get what they want. Invite her! I guess it's not really a matter for the council. <laughs> Come on, count! <laughs> count! Like, invite we, her to the palace! Do the council have to do, like, everything? <laughs> I, think it's so I just think it's a waste of their time. Invite her! Time. And so honestly, think see. about how sick a palace show would be because yeah. the council would get to come. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting free tickets. Not if, not if the council's too busy having to deal with this. So I think if it's not, you know, it's fine. We've decided already. Nine authority. Oh, no one's ever going to get to rebel. <laughs> Your authority is now oppressive. <laughs> Instead of stopping this madness, we reward it? Yeah. Your chancellor extends an invitation to the songstress for a performance in your palace. It is graciously accepted. You can't wait to you see what the fuss is about. No, and it doesn't matter. I have a baby <laughs> <No>. now. <laughs> I got what I wanted. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's time to start funding All some buildings. Right. Patricians. Prison, prison. Down with authority. Hmm. Fund the theater. I think we should get a monument. <laughs> I think I should become a full-on 
you a gold statue. Wheels. <laughs> 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 yeah, there it is. That's a monument. I think I should become the most authoritative king to, or queen rather to ever exist. This I kingdom's so. really missing musicals. I don't think so. I think we should I don't know what prison. to go for. Again, purple and green. Prisoner theatre. Don't let the yellows get their prison. Yeah, they give you one. But the green theatre doesn't benefit the greens. It benefits all of us by making yeah. you less authoritative. We want no, authority we down don't so care we can about rebel. Authority. Then we can rebel. We do, yeah. Yeah, Why? drop authority, then can you can rebel. rebel. <sighs> Rebelling is fast. You can rebel. Yeah. You're, you're high, high you're defiance. High. Just true. remember, theater, you need to have two buildings that are more expensive than the prison. Prison. Because prison. that prison only helps prison. yellow. Theater. Prison. Wow, I just see you, saw you put all your money in there. Spamming C. Prison. You have to pick a second project. Oh, wow, and is purples it? and greens. I've used all my money. I don't think anything's going to... I'm never going to financially recover from this. It's prison or death. Folks, the, 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 the theater is funded. <laughs> pick another project. <laughs> prison, prison, prison. Let's do Deer it. Park, prison. everyone. Deer Let's Park. Pick prison. another project, Woo. Purple and Green. The Deer Park could be so pleasant. Deer Park. Keep purple and Green. Deer Park going. Yeah, Deer, Deer Park. Park. There you go. Deer Park. Deer Park. No. No. Deer Park, baby. Deer Park, baby. No. Deer Park, baby. No. The Deer Park no. is a little, little old place where deer can, can get, get together. together. <laughs> Think how much there we go. Have in the deer Park, baby. Come on, anyone. Purple and Green, congratulations. You've, you've managed to stay in the running. No. <laughs> Give us our prison. <laughs> Would <laughs> you rather go deer park or prison? Prison! <laughs> Let me in the prison. Let me riot in the prison. Very well. You're <gasps> ambitious. Oh, wow. Well. A private, private show. show. Yeah, let's get my private yeah. show going. Oh. Oh. Scandal. Uh, Your Majesty, the songstress has arrived. She's <laughs> just turning, she's just tuning her lyre and then she'll perform for us all. Wonderful. A few minutes oh, later, cool. the hot as hell, badass <laughs> songstress sweeps into the council hall. She carries herself with incredible confidence and immediately begins to pluck out the tune. Her music is the most beautiful thing you've ever heard. Your cheeks are damp with tears. The marshal begins sobbing. What? Even the oh, spy oh, master God, hides <laughs> her face in her hands. Oh. Am I being the songstress? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, that's clearly you, Maddie. <laughs> so, like, once I was a nobody, but now you're kneel before me. Oh, kneel before. before. <laughs> oh, Your knees okay. buckle and you find yourself <gasps> kneeling before her. The rest of the council follow suit without hesitation. Oh, my God, she's magic. <gasps> Uh, what's the fun magical one? Yeah, show her to your treasury. Yeah, show her to the treasury. <laughs> no, 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 no. Treasury. Big free of the enchantment. As soon as you try, the thought vanishes immediately from your mind. Sorry, did you say something about wanting to see oh my, my treasury? Yes, yeah, You show her down to your treasury and help her shovel gleaming piles of gold into <laughs> some special <laughs> sacks that she brought for the occasion. Oh. How clever of her. Oh, dear. Yes, everyone, now yes. Have this day completely to wrap this all up neatly. Forget everything that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> you go to bed with a raging headache when you wake up the following morning. The past 24 hours are a blur. Oh. Where's all my money? <laughs> Thank you, songstress. <laughs> it's a shame the songstress never arrived. I was really looking forward to her performance. I have a nagging feeling I've forgotten again. something important. Probably just trapped wind your you are no, Alec, no, Alex no of Simkin, don't you dare talk about the royal bowels ever again. <laughs> It's a common symptom of stress, and after the recent burglary, we're all quite on edge. Burglary? Burglary. Well, well that okay. was excellent. My ambition. That is bad news. Did not see that going that badly. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be the mother of the nation. I did. You're well on your way to reaching that goal. Peasants are thriving and well fed. Think of you fondly. Well done, Your Majesty. Thank you. Look how low that defiance is dropping. No. I thought you said calzone there. <laughs> calzone. <laughs> but to shut Cover down... <laughs> shut down your noble scheming for good. We need to build on that reputation. Your advisors have some ideas. Excellent. Poor Matt? Chancellor. The common folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare overthrow you for fear of revolution. Excellent, Chancellor. Mm. Great idea. 
Or you could declare war on the Ashmedean Empire. Then nobles will forget their schemes. If you win. Mm. Mm. Stability in farming or farming in military? Military's mm. not great. Yeah. I think, in considering we, do, we want stability to go folk. up to stop the yellow. We must become beloved no. by the common folk. No. I want to be a mm. common people. No. <laughs> a wise decision, your majesty. I'll begin recruiting town criers to shout about your achievements to the messes. That's a great yeah. idea, Chancellor. You should do that right now so that my but stability first, goes up. First, no you need some actual achievements. Your priority is to raise the kingdom's stability and overall farming as much as you can. And of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. Yeah, no, 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 that would be. be terrible. An honourable challenge. Mm. Oh, it's this one. Your Highness, the wit the witless mumble crust has besmirched my honour. He insulted my late mother. He called her a tyrant. Again, <laughs> uh, who was your mother? Uh... Grandi Commander Vine is the senior, a fine <laughs> woman, I assure you. She may have crushed a few rebellions in her time, but who hasn't? I mean, that's very fair. <laughs> uh, which witless mumblecrust are you talking about exactly? <laughs> that honourless dog, <laughs> rail rooster of the counts. Oh, those counts. You want to have another duel? I'm What's familiar. wrong with you people? I love to duel. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Sorry, no, it took me a moment because Rail is my friend. And oh, I'm excellent. Ah. You should have not sanctioned this kind of thing, Your Grace. Now those damn grandees think they can challenge members of the council whenever they like. Yes, True. correct. Have you no honour, dog? A duel is the only proper way to settle a dispute such as this. Now, hold on a minute. This is a matter of respect. We can't be dueling in Queen Arona's throne room without due process. We do like due process. You're a coward, Rail Brewster, and you may as well admit it now. Well, at least I'm no bloodthirsty brute like yourself. It must run in the family. <gasps> yes, it does, and we're all very proud of it. <laughs> oh, I've had enough. Arrest uh, both of these it. fools. <laughs> stop with your authority. Both sides are stunned I'm by stunned. your decision. I'm <laughs> stunned. <laughs> against it. Soon, however, they're just shouting at each other, and you leave them to it. Yes, defiance up. Who knows what sorts of things might happen if you allowed such antics to take place within your council chamber? I can't imagine it would have been good for my stability. <laughs> no. I think it would have been really fun. And cool. Well, here comes the uh, the counts and the patricians mm -hmm. who are about to advance. Mm -hmm. In the darkest depths of an e eastern forest, Count Chris has gathered his fellow plotters around a mossy stone obelisk. Oh, I love a mossy stone obelisk. I do too. Right? Big fan. Oh, look who's with us, my friend. The palace watcher in our pocket. They took our money gladly. The kingdom can barely afford to pay them a living wage. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm waiting. I'm trying to get the chat back. Music to my ears. Soon the throne will be ours. <laughs> Indeed it will. But now we must plan our next steps. I already trust these guys, you know. <laughs> All right, you want to lower stability? Yes, lower Which, stability. Again, lower stability bad because it's good for yellows. Or you can try and raise your own military score. Yeah, I reckon raise your own military. Work together, that doesn't Roll benefit anyone but us. We work together to lower stability. With the threat of assassination. We work together. Commander Vimes, by the way, says, oh no, well, we can fight in the prison, I guess. <laughs> I like that Commander Vimes' mother was also Commander Vimes. So it was yeah. It's an inherited title, exactly. Commander. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Good thing I didn't military. choose a war, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Perfect. Military on the rise. Here we go. It's time. Look, all those spiders are just... There. Yeah, you ain't assassinating the, the queen of poison, I'll tell you that. Over the next few months, we'll have our troops infiltrate the capital, disguised as beggars. They'll swap places with the palace watch <gasps> one by one. Sick. Once the queen realizes she's surrounded by her <laughs> troops, it'll be too late. She'll be a helpless little fly, caught in our web. And no one would ever suspect a voice like that. <laughs> Magnificent! But once we've turned the queen into our puppet, won't the patricians and grannies notice? That's why we need a strong army <laughs> to make them think twice about challenging us. United with the queen's forces, we'll be unstoppable. For the final stage of their scheme, the counts must raise their military to at least oh, seven. Oh, that's only two. We can do that, counts. Um, we can do it. Uh, sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. 
Uh, to what do I owe this pleasure, Madame <laughs> Treasurer? Ooh, give it a rest. You know why I'm here. Let's hurry this up, shall we? Where do I sign? Gosh, she she betrayed in the... Yeah, she loves that. two in a row now. Here and here and here. There you go. You got what you wanted. Now give me the money. <gasps> oh, my God. Of course. Goodbye, Madame Treasurer. Do my eyes deceive me? Was that the royal treasurer you were speaking with? Indeed, my friend. Good news. With the queen's gold running out, the treasurer is willing to set off the oh, kingdom's goodness. roads and bridges. Soon this kingdom will be ours. But what will we do when we own everything? Do you want to turn the queen into <laughs> our proud corporate mascot by raising stability? Or do you want to mercilessly extract let's wealth from the kingdom until it collapses by lowering authority? Let's do let's do a one on one. Wow. Let's raise stability, everyone. I mean, we're already one away from it, but go for Ray it. Raise stability. Go for it, guys. Raise stability. <laughs> I it. love to be a corporate mascot. <laughs> corporate mascot. Corporate how mascots don't that? get killed. Like your destiny oh, from yeah. how you started. New from JML. <laughs> it's Queen Hirona the <laughs> second. <laughs> We'll soon have the queen dance into her tune. We just need to make sure the kingdom's a nice, comfortable rot. Mm. For the final stage Ooh. of this game, Tristan's must Only raise two. stability to at least Come on, eight. everyone. Interesting. Mm. Well, at least we're working together on that. Right. Interesting. I think those grandees need to be taxed. No, I'm not sure the grandees need more mm. defiance, so we're just going to do a common tax. <laughs> Very well. Ambition, oh, beloved. Oh my god, have I, I done it? Wedding. 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 Uh, I, sorry, have I won already? Sorry, if I won already? Your Majesty, the common folk are swayed as easily as a dandelion and a gale. Hey, Excellent. That's my voice. I know. <laughs> I'm confident that we can make them adore you. This will be the biggest public relations campaign the kingdom's ever seen. You tour the kingdom giving speeches. Town criers will declaim your great deeds from every corner. How much impact can town criers really have? <laughs> so much. Uh, a group of town criers file into the room wearing bright red coats and each holding a very large bell. The chancellor <laughs> motions to the group. Immediately they start ringing oh, their bells and bellowing great. about your greatest deeds. She's got the best cool things ever. Wonderful, aren't they? <laughs> what are you saying? The chancellor signals frantically and the town crier to criers quieten down. We're helped by the fact that the kingdom is harmonious. It's important that we keep it that way. Mm-hmm. And we must also keep something else in mind. A hungry peasant is never happy with their queen. That's Very true. true. Luckily, the land is bountiful right now. Yes, it is. If the peasants remain comfortable and well-fed, you'll win their devotion for sure. I reckon mm. so. Oh, carrying on with that then. Right, a fishy wedding, fishy is it? Fishy wedding. Yeah, wedding. oh, the cousin's back as well. Oh, oh God. God. Your Majesty, the Archduke of Saal has invited you to his forthcoming wedding. Your attendance would help shore up relations between our two great nations. Interesting. Depths below, great nation, the Isle of Sal, nothing compared to a nest. Nothing more than a nest of pirates and cutthroats. And I heard it isn't a proper marriage anyway. The Archduke is marrying a fish. <laughs> oh. oh, good for him. <laughs> the group... The groom, even, is a fin folk, one oh. of the denizens of the sea, perfectly sapient and actually amphibious. Mm. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Maddie has logged on. <laughs> <laughs> the church doesn't agree with a man marrying a fish. We mustn't legitimize this fast by allowing the queen to attend. I can't remember what her voice is. Uh, it's Miss Piggy. <laughs> oh, that is it? Yeah. I can't do Miss Piggy. The queen doesn't agree with a man marrying a fish. We mustn't legitimize this farce by allowing the queen to attend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Not well, A. We don't want the queen I mean, to I, attend. I should attend a. the wedding, though, shouldn't no, I? No, obviously not A, everyone. No. The, uh, send your warmest regards. Or oh, actually, no. I mean, condemn the wedding will raise defiance and faith, I guess. No, it will lower, no, defiance. Defiance. It will lower your oh. defiance specifically. Uh, send warmest regards, everyone. Let's send warm regards. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sure. But then I wonder if you lower stability in the long run. Yeah, come now. on. 
Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see Actually, what no, we want, we want stability. What no, am I talking you wanna, about? Yeah, B, like I have no idea what You want about. stability. I, she I am confused. A, no. fish wedding, everyone. No. No. Fish, can we go wedding. B? Fish. I think B. I think you should veto one B. of them. Wheels. They're going to be fighting for it. Are you like, you're going to be a puppet queen? Come on, like, puppet come queen. On, like, that was come the original agreement. Yeah, yeah. That, fishy. That want, fishy wheels. wedding. You Everyone want wants to beyond it. Do you want to see them marry the fish? Marry I the fish. Think... Marry the fish. No, do you know what? A yes, tie. everyone. Marry the fish and you no. get money. Do you no. remember what your stability needed to be? Eight. Okay. Marry the fish, no, everyone. We don't Marry want the that. fish. We don't want that. We do not want greens boosting whoa, our stability whoa. up. Green? Okay, all right, hold on. Okay. Don't be shy. Okay. Gotta marry the fish. Yellows and purples. Oh. What, what are your thoughts? Well, I don't think I should tell you, really. I think the queen what? will not attend. Yeah, that's what I, I really think. Regards. The queen should yes. attend. Look, I don't think you should attend. We we accept all all marriages. Yeah. Send a toaster and a card. No, marry the fish, everyone. No. Marry that no. fish. As much as I love a fish, marry wedding, the fish. Look, we, we look, can't everyone, let go support up. the yeah. fish yeah. wedding. Hey, can't cool. let marry go that up. fish. The fish wedding will happen. Marry whatever. it, fish wedding. Look, Come on, everyone. We'll just send our regards. Look, we can yeah. find some pictures. We <laughs> want to really... encourage we'll the like fish wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Counts. <laughs> encourage that, that fish wedding. Yeah. Oh Come God, on, the tight. fish wedding. We want to oh. see the oh. fish get married. We want to marry oh. that fish. Yes, you Come on. An easy win Anyone who hasn't voted? Come, Come on. on. No. Check no. Check no. Check Wait, let's press continue. Anyone who, anyone who hasn't voted? Come anyone? On. No. You can't do something. Very well. We will attend the fish wedding. I never liked Miss Piggy anyway. <laughs> Excellent. The wedding is scheduled for next year. I'll inform the Archduke that you shall be delighted to attend. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this kingdom is sliding into madness. What do you mean sliding into? Mm. It's already been mad since the first bloody it season. It is sliding into madness. When it's announced that you will attend the wedding, the patricians are naturally scandalized. Oh, well. But the peasants sentimental but the peasants sentimental as ever are in favour of your decision. Public opinion turns against the overly strict church. And more towards me. All right, cousin. come on then, cousin. Ooh, yeah. Uh, oh. <gasps> the spine oh, strolls into your library while you're reading, dragging your cousin, Lord Fitzalbert, by the scruff of the neck. A moment, your majesty. Oh, what's happened now? Lord Fitzalbert wriggles half-heartedly with a sulky scowl. I've intercepted a number of threatening letters from your cousin, your majesty. Nothing of concern, <gasps> but recently he hired an assassin against you. A very poor one at that. Why would you do this? Look, you treated me dreadfully. You in invested in my gold MLM the other day, so why shouldn't I move against you? I don't want your booty, <laughs> Pitzelbert. If you just sell it to three other people, that would be so much. So-called assassin was nothing but an amateur. Frankly, I'm amazed he didn't trip over and stab himself before I got the chance. But your cousin's actions raise concern. Well, he's committed a crime now, so I can murder him. <laughs> okay. Oh, or put him in a monastery. Well, don't yeah. imprison him. That That's right. I think we should imprison him. I think that you should exile him. You've got a pretty good chance of uh, popping off. Just imprison him. He's he's wronged you, and you need to you need to make a stand. Exile. I'm thinking exile looks good. Exile's stand. pretty yeah. damn good. We want to exile him. You okay, need to everyone. make a stand. Exile. If you don't stand for this wheels, what do you stand for? Exile, look. He's just been playing about a bit, that's all. Hmm. We need to imprison him. I'll leave it up to the council. To exile, everyone. Exile. Prison. Matt, just vote exile. Must... Counts, follow yeah. him. Exile. I think exiling is Exile, the everyone. It's the fairest exile. choice. Help lower authority. Yeah, exile. Look, it's 5 lower p.m. Authority. It's gone gone forever. Do we want a winner? <laughs> do we want to end that winner? <laughs> exile. Come on. We have to end that winner if this is how it Come goes on, everyone. No, no, we shall continue <laughs> until I am the king again. <laughs> Wow. Five seconds remain. All right, we're going to speed read. Come on, though. come on. Speed reading coming up. Come on. Exile is the one. All right, Lord Fitzalbert is loaded onto the ship today where they don't care for aristocratic titles. You shouldn't gain much traction there. Success. Oh, you've managed it. Several southern yeah. merchants send you letters of gratitude. Your cousin has been... Th been a thorn in their side for some time, yep. incessantly begging for free gifts. I can imagine he has. Perhaps it will cause less trouble now that he's out of your hair. Regardless, he's no longer your concern. Excellent. Let's end the season. End the season. Uh, New laws. I'm fine with the ones I have. You can pause. 
I don't like those new laws. All right. Our corporate overlords. Ooh. Oh no, the stability went uh, up. Oh, I didn't uh, realize the stability <laughs> was going up. Oh should've, dear. Should've. It happens Should gradually, happen? like a frog slowly boils. I love boiling a frog. No, I don't. I love frogs. Maddie? At first, it's it's paying a few partitions tolls here and there to cross a road to sail down a river, but as their cash reserves grow, so do their acquisitions. The trouble really starts when they ban oh anyone God. else from trading on their road. Soon enough, they practically own everything. <laughs> Here's a copy of tomorrow's speech, Your Supreme Majesty. Don't forget to read out the part at the end. The speech was proudly sponsored <laughs> by Coast Breck, the creamiest cereal in the kingdom. Creamiest? What does that even mean? <laughs> Not actually cream. Some kind of a salty jam Ugh. that keeps the cereal fresh for longer, allowing for transportation across the kingdom. Craft jam. That. It's disgusted <laughs> at first, of course, but the side effects distract you from the taste. And after you've mentioned the sponsorship, don't forget to add that you can't get enough of that creamy... Coastal crunch. That's very important. What if I say no? Look who woke up with a spine this morning. If you say no, we'll put a drop of poison in your ear while you're asleep. A quick death. We'll tell our customers you died heroically, saving a child from a bear or something. The cereal with spider milk. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll replace you with a younger mascot with better hair and <gasps> whiter teeth. And that'll be a net win for our brand anyway. Oh, and one more thing. We're cancelling council meetings from now on. But what about the Constitution? Ooh. The Constitution's just paper. It's good for hanging next to the toilets, and that's about it. The council's completely redundant. All their decisions need approval from the Board of Investors anyway. Might as well let the board make the decisions from now on. Board of Investors? Who are they? People have brought a stake in the kingdom, obviously. Didn't you know they've been running things for a while now? Don't worry, your job's under no threat. Your palace attracts a lot of tourism, but the council's got to go. Mm. Let me guess, the board is mostly patricians, right? Yes, it is. You're right. We need to diversify. Maybe we could have a council to wouldn't hurt. They'd just be outvoted anyway. Damn. You've run council <laughs> decisions past another group without telling me. The board took a vote and we all decided it was the right thing to do. The people won't stand for this. I tried that, Wheels, I can tell you. <laughs> the people are hard at work in factories making coarse break and other fantastic products. They're too busy to work about who's running the kingdom. Well, the other regions must have something to say about this. They do. The grandees did try to beseech the capital. But the south's pretty much bankrupt since all the industries started moving to the coast. When the soldiers arrived, we simply hired them. Beautiful. So right now, things. they're still working in the salt mines to pay off the debts they built up while marching on our roads. So is there anyone fighting against you? No, not really. We <laughs> are, what's the phrase? Too big to fail. Anyway, I must stop yapping. i got a board meeting. I'll leave you to practice your speech. Creamy coast <laughs> break. <laughs> Once Lord Patrician Ben has departed, you take a longing look out the window. The capital skyline has been devoured by smoke from the new factory. Spider factory. With a sigh, you begin practicing your speech. Oh. Damn Patricians again! Damn, they're Give too powerful. They're too powerful. For the rest of Queen Hirona's reign, she was a powerless mascot for the Patrician Cereal Not Company. Cereal. She eventually met her end by <laughs> drowning in a vat of spider milk during a promotional no! stunt. Spider milk! The counts attempted to worm their way into the palace was uncovered, and a number of arrests were made. Count Chris ended his life chained upside down to a dungeon wall. Oh, Chris. The grandees continued to throw accusations of witchcraft and heresy at their enemies. True. Everyone gradually learned to ignore them. The Patricians owned everything. Corporations ruled and the kingdom was blanketed in mills, no. factories, mines. But when the old mascot queen died and Queen Camilla was crowned, the other nobles emerged from the shadows, sniffing mm. a chance to claw back their power. <gasps> no. No. My goodness. Did it. Does, does that mean I that... Queen Harona the Unbending. Damn. <laughs> does that mean that... I'm queen. You are Brown now the queen. Being handed over. Unfortunately, the crown has had some changes since I wore it. <laughs> oh, I like the little necklace. <laughs> String on it. It's a cowboy crown. <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 oh. 
Ooh. There she is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's only ooh, Maddie's ooh, head ooh. that actually fits <laughs> it. Which means I should be queen and we were so close again. Mian, would you like to say any final words as the new queen? Oh, I just want to thank all of my people for helping me get here. And I hope you're enjoying the factories. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you voted for. Look what you did. Eat coast break. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Our Thank second you, stream uh, of King of the Castle. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I believe it's available quite soon, actually, because yeah. it's coming out at the start of March. So have a little look on Steam if you want to give it a wish list. We should have a link in the description below. If not, then we'll add it in post. Uh, but if you want to see more from us here on Dicebreaker, then please do stick around. We've got loads of fantastic content all over tabletop. If you want to see uh, something that's a lot like this, but in board game form, you can go watch our Let's Play of The King's Dilemma. Um, we also have, I believe, The Queen's Dilemma coming out this year as well. Mm. So yeah, lots of right. fantastic yeah. stuff if this is up your alley. But we've also got loads of fantastic things going on over on Dicebreaker.com where Queen Mian and Measly Editor-in-Chief <laughs> Matt Jarvis, uh, as well as all of our fantastic other writers, are putting up some fantastic stuff every single day. So go and have a look on there as well. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. But until then, have a lovely day. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.